What's up, everybody? Now, you know we couldn't end the year without giving y'all a live episode of your favorite basketball show. And if we're going to do it, we're going to do it big. We got some drink, we got some dank, and we even got some dancers. So please give it up for the Heart of Samba. This is my school. This is what I was doing when wasn't nobody blue. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's New Year's. We turned up in the arena. I got a question. <laughs> Who work was that? <laughs> they said it was y'all. Who responsible for the work? Nobody gonna take credit. Hmm? Uh, that was your work. What work? <laughs> 
the McCants. They said that was McCants. Wait, 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 wait. The Samba Dancers. The Samba Dancers. Man, that was goddamn five minutes too long, man. I ain't gonna. She's lie. your queen that, too. Baby. That should have been a good 60 seconds. Then get the fuck on out of here. <laughs> That's Yeah, we doing it big. We ain't on vacation, man. We want to see six minutes of that shit. You gotta get what you pay for. Get what you pay for. Getting our money's worth, man. The Venmo been clear. The Venmo been clear. Barbara, we gonna dance. They know the crowd. They know who we is. Did they know who we was, man? You supposed to get motherfuckers just straight. Uh, Magic City up in here. <laughs> I knew <laughs> that's where yeah, you were supposed to be Magic City up in here, man. I, I, I thought starting that, already. I, I knew that I, was I, the thought process. We started already. I thought a little something. You ain't bring no I thought a little something, you know. I thought it was going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on YouTube. Horrible. We are on YouTube. We cannot get down like that. Special New Year's Eve edition of Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here with us. Very festive, dressed up. We also got Brandon Jennings here rep repping Oakley head to toe with some tough crowd in between. That's right, man. You know, okay. prepare for the future. <laughs> <laughs> we got Rashad right. McCann's back here with us, rocking the Air McCann's gear. The no. Air McCann's baby. Right yes, sir. Uh huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? New year, new me, new gear, new. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. Yeah? Stop playing. <laughs> oh, yeah, we also we got Kenya Martin Stop back playing. here with us. What's that? Hey, very. It was his birthday. Yeah, look at her. Happy birthday, OG. <laughs> ah, we need a shot. Hey, we need a shot for OG's birthday. OG's shot for OG's birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't taking one alone. No, for sure. This is a good we'll take one with you. We'll uh, take one with beverage you. time. Beverage time. If y'all know, if y'all seen any of our special shows, y'all know. No, no, damn it. Yeah. Well, hey, we got, like, we got, got a crowd here. We got some drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come in the middle, please. Give one. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Don't hide it. We cheers in the Kmart for his birthday. <laughs> Don't hide it from Gil. You don't want to see it. We appreciate you. <laughs> Happy birthday, legend. Appreciate yeah. it, homie. All right. Good job, <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ooh. And for all y'all wondering, Lexi ain't back in town yet, but she will be joining us in the new year all season long. So we already gave you your birthday salute, but uh, want to let you know you're, you, same, you share the same birthday as some legends, including Bo Diddley, Cheryl Lee Ralph, Tiger Woods, and LeBron James. LeBron James. And speaking of LeBron, yes, yeah, okay, I'm hoping you got a better birthday gift than Bron got uh, when refs erroneously ruled his potential game tying three pointer or two, cost the Lakers the game. Mm, that's a three. We see it. Mm, 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 mm. That's a three. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Even Stevie Wonder can see it. Mm. They over there <coughs> eating ham sandwiches, <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> Mm, mm. Hell of a happy birthday gift to me. We got you, Bron. Ribbon in the sky. Mm -hmm. Was Bron's foot on the line? Y'all saw the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it looked like at some point when he put his toes in, it could have looked like it went over a little bit. But Yo, that was not the answer I, I was hoping for. No, I mean I'm just saying. But at the end of the day, like, if yeah, from the optics, it's a tie game. Go to overtime or let someone like finish it. The ref, like, you running that fast, going that way, how you call it a two off top, though? Yeah. Like, that's shit crazy. Like, normally you just call you it a three and supposed you to be behind it. I'm so you behind uh, it. Who called it, though? Left side ref? Was I don't know who. I don't, was it uh, uh, Tony? No, 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 no. Tony no. made the final call. Tony bro. Others? Tony, bro. yeah, he yeah. made the final call. Like, yeah, so he running this way behind the dude. He stopped on the LeBron step back, and how you see that from that, like, mm. that fast? He didn't. He like, just, yeah, you just guessed. Yeah. You guessed that it was a two. Yeah. Like, you know, you. Wait, that was Tony Brothers? Yeah. Nah. No, the, the, the Tony Brothers made the final decision. Uh, but what, it was on the road? Minnesota. No, Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. They watched it, uh, they sent it to Chicago, I think. Yeah, yeah. Official yeah. review. And they said, and they. His foot was on they the said it was a All two. They said it was a two. Definitely. Yeah. I was yeah. a three. They was eating stuff down with Nah, and then they released that little bullshit, two minute report shit. To yeah, and how, like, you know, like you finish and then it looked like at the very end it touched the line. You call that, it a it, three at first, and then go. It's his birthday, bro. Shit, it looked nice, though. It, it looked is my birthday. Mm. It looked nice. It looked nice. <laughs> it looked real nice. Well, we got a special New Year's Eve edition for y'all. Here's what we got cooking in the arena for the last day of 2023, first day of 2024. Taking a look back, some of the biggest storylines of the year, from the Harden Daryl Morey saga to Josh's suspension and the Nuggets winning their first chip. Uh, there was a lot of wild moments on and off the court, so we're taking a trip back down memory lane with the best. <laughs> And craziest moments of this year, as you can see some of them. A shout out to our production team for, for this legendary photo montage. And we're giving our New Year's resolutions and predictions for 2024. Okay, stock photo, turn up. 
But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so, download the app. Use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. I want to say something like, what, they got over a million first-time depositors this year. We were largely responsible for most of that, as Underdog uh, already knows. So shout out to that whole crew over there, Underdog Fantasy. Help us help you. Help us keep the show on the air in 2024. You said what, what again? What's up? No, what'd you say? Over a million first-time depositors. This year? This year. Really? Not because not of Gills Arena, but we had something to do with it. Well, a large part. part. We had a lot of it. A large. <laughs> we had a lot. Someone getting the call in the morning. <laughs> we got to renegotiate. <laughs> and listen up. Uh, for anyone who's considering signing up for Underdog Fantasy is not done so yet, tonight is the night to make your first-time deposit. New Underdog users who sign up during the show tonight will be automatically entered to win a pair of Gilbert sneakers as well as a, a few special promotions to get you started. Underdog will contact the winner via email. As you already know, we always blessing y'all. We gave y'all y'all bread. Everybody can stop whining. Hitting us up. They got, they got the bread, Gil. We appreciate you. We're giving away shoes, all types of goodies. And as always, you can't watch this show live with us on YouTube. I don't know why you wouldn't. We got audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts from. So let's get into it. Uh, 2023 was one of the wildest years in the world and around the association. So let's take a look at some of the biggest storylines of 2023. Starting off our list at number five, we got the James Harden, Daryl Morey saga. Harden uh, started some big trouble in Big China this past offseason after calling Morey a liar. Daryl Morey is a liar. <laughs> and saying he would never play another game for the Sixers. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar. <laughs> After a test back and forth, Harden got his wish with the trade to the Clippers. Move looked shaky at first for the Clippers, uh, but Bombers boys have found their groove and look like a legit threat in the West. Sixers will also look good in the East thanks to Tyrese Maxey filling that void left by Harden and Embiid playing at an MVP level. Gil, we'll start with you. Was forcing a trade to the Clippers the right move for James Harden? It looks like it. I mean, you know, on both sides, to be honest. Both sides of... Um are playing very well. No. I think both sides are happy with, you know, how it went down. So uh, I don't see anybody that's sitting there like mad they didn't make this decision. Brent, how you feeling about it? Uh, I mean, for James coming back home, I mean, I think that's, you know, if this is the last run, um, you know, you can't ask for anything more. At least you want to end it at home for any player. So um, looked like it was the best move for both teams. Both teams played hard. Eric McCann, how you feeling? What was the question? I was <laughs> a little bit. Was Harden forcing a trade to the Clippers the right move? <laughs> was Harden forcing, forcing a trade to the Clippers the right move? <laughs> hey, focus, focus, <laughs> boy, man. shit, focus. Hi, man. man. I'm trying. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> um, I, I mean, in hindsight, it, it, it worked out for both sides. I mean. Uh, Harden is showing that he, he's starting to adjust to the team, the way they're playing. They're starting to get a role, getting a feel of him. Um, and, and the 76ers is also adjusting to playing without him and Maxie stepping up to the plate, Tobias, all those other key players. You can only imagine if they get another addition how well they'll play. So I think for both teams, they ended up faring even. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that either side lost. You know what I'm saying? Anything is doing more than the other. Yeah. Pretty even. Cameron, I know you weren't. Uh, it's cause, <laughs> but but the only, the only, it's only even because it's different conferences. Like if the Clippers was in the East. Then what? They'd be higher than Who Philly. Be? Clippers? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> uh, just because the way the East is set up. Like the West is always been higher. Higher in record wise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, higher position too. <laughs> like number one, number two? Probably. No, nah, not over That's Philly. Good. Probably. Ooh. In the East? Come on. <laughs> How they gonna stop in B, bro? How, has Philly played the Clippers about? yet? What you talking about? How you I don't think so. I don't, I don't think in the aftermath. No, not yet. All right. Come on, man. All right. Just, Obviously, we would have heard that from Keen if they did. <laughs> we gonna find it. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So, so, Kmart, I know you weren't a fan of the trade. Obviously, for personal reasons, your son KJ was involved with it. How you feeling about it now? It's, um, it's panning out for the Clippers. Um, it took them a little while, um, like we thought, um, but they are figuring it out at the right time, I think. I'm still right before the new year. Um, and, you know, it's working out. I mean, they, I, I, they're finding they, 
their roles, how they need to play um, amongst the the talent level that they have. Um, I, yeah, so no, nah, they're gonna be a force to reckon with, man. Mm -hmm. Like they're gonna be a force to reckon with, and I'm. I'm gonna keep my comments to myself <laughs> about, the, about the other shit, so. We'll keep yeah. them in 2023. <laughs> oh yeah, nah, this shit, listen, man. KJ still on Philly over that motherfucker rotten, so I, I, I'm gonna keep my, yeah. Uh, mm. yeah. so to avoid, yeah, so. Next topic. Okay. Think next topic. <laughs> most, most Next. Just for everybody out there, the Clippers and Sixers play each other March 24th in LA and March 27th in Philly, so we will oh, monitor man. that situation. Uh -huh. already kind of, you guys already kind of answered, but want to know. So who's winning the trade so far? If you had to pick a team, Sixers or Clippers, who would you say got the best of that deal? Six and one half dozen other. Okay. Huh? Six and one half dozen and other. Uh, Looked to be a good trade. I mean, that's what I said. It's like one of you had to pick. I, I'll pick the Clippers. Right now? If I had to pick. Are we just talking as about As far right as now? who won the trade. Right, right as far as who if, won the trade. Team or players? For team, 2023. Yeah, because like y'all said, it freed up Maxi. Yeah. Yeah, freed up Maxi. And it just got yeah, James. Yeah, yeah. It just, it just moved. Yeah, that's what everybody, it seen everybody got a little yeah. bit of what they needed or wanted. So. Except KJ. Yeah. And Russell. <laughs> and Russell. And, and, and Bones. And Bones. Damn. Damn. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, it was a lot of shit. It was definitely some casualties of war in this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, that's fact. Somebody, yeah, a few people caught some strays out this man, bitch. Man, it was not ready for this. Not at all. So. <laughs> well, let's move on to our, our next storyline, yeah. uh, yeah. number four. Pistons found themselves on the wrong side of history this year, setting the NBA record for most losses in the season. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yeah, they starving. Was, hey, <laughs> wing stop brother was starving. starving. Them get boneless them wings was in the freezer, getting freezer burned. But they tied the Sixers for the most consecutive losses in NBA history. Pistons ended the year on the right note, though, snapping their streak with the win over the Raptors and giving Detroiters the five free boneless wings from Wingstop. They've been neglected since five? late. Five free boneless wings. Since nice. they've been neglected five since five is five. Jermaine, late October. Wings, then. Five. five. Boneless wings from Bone. Wingstop? Boneless. <laughs> boneless. That's it? That's it. That's oh, fuck. How many 20, people? 20,000 people. That's <laughs> chicken nuggets. 20,000 people. Them chicken nuggets, man. Them chicken nuggets, man. They've been, been good, right bro. to these games? Yeah. For 30. Chicken nigga, nuggets, five man. Five wings? That's it. Just five. No bones either. No bones. <laughs> Yeah, Rick bones. Ross got a man. Hell no, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. We good, need he, bones. You see how good Rick? We need some bones in that. Bones That's in that. Pause. Whoa. 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 Damn. Because if we I were back, you would have caught me. Nah, nah. I mean, nah. come on. Don't so no <laughs> come on, no problem. <laughs> Let's talk about these Pistons. Pistons have won three games so far this season. They are three and twenty-nine. Who will finish the season with more wins? The Detroit Pistons or the Lions? The Lions currently have eleven wins. They got one more game next week. Who's winning more games this season in Detroit? Pistons. Pistons. You think they're going to get over 11 wins? Yeah, Fuck no. <laughs> Damn. They're getting on the road right nah, now. Nah, man. They they're getting right on the road. Nah, they all right. Dude, they just lost 28 straight fucking games. 29. They finna, 29. 29. 29. They finna lose another 20 games. Trust me, dog. In a row? No way. Hell nah, yeah. Nah. No way. No nah, way. Nah. They, they lost, How many they won, of those games were close games, though? A lot, it was 28. Of, they a had lot of them close was games. close games. Within five. The bad team find a way to lose. And they almost did last game. They do. They almost did. Like, they don't look at it. They almost did. I was, at, I was at Cameron sure. game yesterday, yeah, and I was talking Detroit to games, dude. Sure. I'm like, bad teams always find Because you update me during the game. I said, bad teams always find a way to lose. Detroit a cool city. I'm saying, if it's a close game, they're going to find a way to lose. And they almost did. Unless it's a blowout. So, no, they finna lose 15, another 15 in a row. No, they, hey, you know what the crazy? If OG would have been still there, they would they was fucked up because of the lineup, all that. They just traded the boys, so they was the, they they caught them on the right fucking yeah, night. Yeah, trust me. The funny part is, if you look, you, that damn there was a sold out crowd. It was. That damn there was a sold out crowd to see the motherfuckers get that win. Number three. How did they know? No, I'm just saying, like, just think about the con, like... Bro, I've been in a position, like, not that much, but we were 5-23 and 23 in Detroit. We were, and was, was it crowded? No, it wasn't crowded oh. until we started, until we turned it, and once we made that um, trade for Josh Smith, um, that's when things started changing around. Let me just... Steve, like, we wait, 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 like, hold we on. Steve Smith and Wilbon was at the game. So some yeah. fishy was up good with you. Think so? What you saying? Fix was in. I'm oh, saying. Uh, what the fuck y'all at that game for? Yeah, at that at all games. Dude, because it was, a, it was for the the 
to get to 29 and be the, the lone. Oh, oh okay. Okay. They, was there, so they was there to humiliate them. Damn. They was there to try to come. No. I'm, Damn. Going, I'm going to a Detroit game this year. No, I would have I'm going back to the 3-1. Like in, in Detroit? Anton yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm for sure. Not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, yeah, sure. I'm fucking yeah, with my sure. nigga Anton, yeah. For sure, of course not. <laughs> How many so. games y'all lost? Sure. Uh, Let's go. In row your oh, rookie yeah. year. Detroit? My rookie year. What my Cartier shape? Oh, what's the most games uh-huh. you lost in a row? Shit. I don't know, maybe tw- 10, 11, 7. I mean. Damn. Oh, you said y'all was 5 and 23, never mind. I know we were 6 and 34 at one point, but 13. We was who? We were, they were like six and thirty something. God damn! Like they, yeah, it was a span. Was, like thirteen in a row. Oh my! Listen, dog. But you know what's crazy? Like being five and like being that low, it's easy to play because you can get some wins. You can Actually, steal I, them. I, I, you no, can I'm steal telling you, you can steal. That's, <laughs> that's why I said I think Memphis going Memphis gonna make the playoffs because they gonna steal wins. Like you're gonna still you're gonna steal wins because teams just thinking you weak. Go and then next thing you know, one. you look up, you be like, no, they treat me different now. That job back. Think they so? treat them different now. That job back. Absolutely, they look at Memphis different now. That job back. Absolutely. You fighting? Jo- yeah, no. Nah, the Clippers yeah, ain't yeah, but, no, no, but my thing is, so, just, so the point no, I was about to make. Just, be just yo, for now, boy. <laughs> dude, I would have been just losing that many games in Rhode Island. I would, listen, man. Yeah, they kick you out of the locker room. Oh, they, 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 they would have asked me to leave. They'd have been suspended. Yeah, they would have asked me to leave. No dog. matter how bad you get, it get worse and worse. No, they would have asked me to leave. No matter how bad you get, it get worse. You got to stick with it. The worst thing. So my rookie year, we won 26 games my rookie year. So that was the worst for me mm-hmm. throughout my career. Like 26 or 52, that was the worst it was. The next year we went to the finals. We were 52 and 26 the very next year. So I, I don't, that losing shit, losing all them games in a row, bro, and all, dude, I would have been. Who was that, J.K.? Oh, yeah, you was playing, though. J.K.? Yeah. So, yeah. I would have been fighting motherfuckers, so bro. So Nets I mean. lost nine, nine games in a row your rookie year? Yeah, that was, dude, I was. You was ready for it. Absolutely, But it's bro. a difference between just losing the game because motherfuckers ain't playing hard. It ain't getting right. ever. No, but then was, we all in the we in the games. I was we just grown not shit. winning that shit. Yeah. We, was we close. We there. We, there, we just can't get it. Yeah, somebody was saying the wrong day. way doing that nine game mumble. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was just a pin. <laughs> Listen, Jack. <laughs> It I'm just depends. Tell- and you know Stan Van Gundy had me play. 20? Yeah. So, so four, like- 14 of the 28 losses uh, during this Pistons streak were by single digits. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. Because no. it could be nine, say- motherfucker. That could be nine. That's a blowout. Yeah. Come on, man. It could be one. Hey, it could just, be hey, one, but it could be nine. Hey, Cletus from Detroit, man. Have my tickets. Have my tickets for And for the record, we got major love for the city of Detroit. We merely have to talk about your basketball team. That has nothing to do with the city as a whole. So if we do pull up. Except for Beast, too. Come than to Detroit. To I, I know I came. Motown. They already done banned me. You can't even take a connecting flight? No. Nope. No Delta. Uh, not even a connecting flight? They already took no, no, no bread. No connecting flight. Even get off. No bypass. You can't even go to Chicago if Chicago's close. Damn. Don't mm-hmm. even fix it. Say your mouth. <laughs> say Detroit. Ooh. Ooh. They said they're going to pay me. To do what? To get to go to club. Where? Detroit. Big dog, big dog. So whoop my ass. <laughs> just whoop. I'm like, y'all spending 10 grand to do that? God damn, y'all crazy. <laughs> After you came through with the jersey and everything, girl, they still not. What you do to people in Detroit, girl? Talking about the water crises, you know. He was talking crazy. Uh, no, no, no. He, you know, he was talking crazy. <laughs> Over about, the years, I don't you know, he was lie. talking crazy about Isaiah. <laughs> he was talking about crazy about Isaiah. He said Isaiah was a top five point guy. Let it be known. Let I it think be known. That then really the other, then the other that was Isaiah, it. he had problems with the other Isaiah nigga. But the problem is, no, 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 both of them. Like, huh? I know one said, but the problem is, no, wait, I mean, how many no, people have in the top big, five? the big Isaiah? Who was Isaiah? Who's Zeke? Yeah, Stewart. Yeah, Beef Stewart. I know you. But I'm saying, you know, I do. Gil, in the beef, it's 2023. Leave that behind. I'm like a kid. He from there. J- Jason Richardson. Of <laughs> course, <laughs> they tried to cool set it. Go down to the Motown. Look Sac- how they was. Actually, but Sac- Michigan. Beans and cornbread. Some spots in Detroit. Beans I know. and cornbread. Buy some soul food spots. Motown. You know, the museum, Motown, where they did the Stevie, you know. Right, you're leaving in 2023. Because beans and cornbread. Right. I want you to look into that camera right. now. Apologize to the city of Detroit for any slander that you may have given them. I know. But we can start 2024 fresh. Maybe be able to pull up. As what camera I got to look at? <laughs> oh, wait. You got your own. You got your own. Oh, shit. It's funny as hell. You got your own. You don't, you don't fuck it up for all of us, hey, all right? Hey, man, what? All right. What I do? We got Because I get your beef now. I have nothing to do with them. They stare at me. To be honest, I ain't got to apologize for shit because I don't leave my house. <laughs> bro, we famous because of you. I, hey, girl, I don't leave famous. my house, so I ain't got to worry you about Detroit. Ain't no, there's no reason for me to go nowhere near Detroit 
No, but anywhere Period. we go, anywhere we get, anywhere I go, I know y'all go. We get questioned about the Gills Ring. Yo, what's up with y'all? What y'all be? Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't got to worry about none of that. I, I got to get. Man, I go get some ice cream. <laughs> anything. They just. I was watching the Gills. Like, damn. Yeah, unless they can beat me up on YouTube, I'm good. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> they find a way. Can they find a way? Yeah, to beat me up? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Let's move on to on our third head. biggest storyline in 2023. Uh, LeBron has been cemented himself as the goat, but this year he also became the goat scorer. Passing Kareem for the NBA's all-time scoring record. Thomas Bryant is still waiting for that post-entry, though. <laughs> still waiting for it. Hey, where is he? Miami. Miami. <laughs> Maybe that's why. The, the shot scene around the world. So we know LeBron. Speaking the shot, can I get a shot? <laughs> oh, we want a shot? I said he said shot. It just reminded me. We are getting turned up at Gills Arena for New Year's. We appreciate all y'all rocking with us in Underdog Fantasy. <laughs> Get some water. So LeBron's got the record. He's still going. He got at least a couple more years in him. But will we see anyone come close to LeBron's scoring record in our lifetime? Excuse me? Yeah, but he's not born yet. Excuse me? Will we do, excuse me? What? Like, uh, born? Like whoever going to break the record, he's not born yet. Luca? I don't think Luca so. here? Luca not breaking it. Oh, hell no. That's what he said. He got to play yeah. 19 more years, averaging 30 something, playing oh, I'm drinking 70 games straight a year. Over these niggas mixing drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so, you. Appreciate it. And we're getting turned up in the arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Thank you. Boop, boop. So we don't think that person is born yet. I don't think he's born. Damn, yet. you took the shot already. Already. This. Hey, bring this fool another one for not waiting. It's a party. <laughs> it's a party foul. Wait, I didn't know he was. No, fuck that. Bring him, hold on, wait, wait. Don't drink that yet. You gotta wait. Party foul. Yeah, yo, another one. I mean, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Party foul. Okay. First, first yeah. of all, y'all didn't even ask for it. But that they brought everybody perfect. one, so therefore, it's only right, Gilbert. Damn. Jeezy. Damn full name. Jeezy. Damn, girl. He said y'all got. I usually drink by myself, so I don't. But toast are you shit. sitting here by yourself right now, Gilbert? <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. So I, I got self. So we got what? Yeah, we got. Yeah, nah, y'all. <laughs> shit, it's I got New Year. <laughs> got birthday coming up. We got a birthday coming up. <laughs> I'm saying. Thank you, love. Like Capricorn season, goat uh, season. Capricorn, okay, there we go. Yeah, we goat season. I like that. Will we cheers into it? Take us into please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> we back. Cheers. 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 Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. All right, I'm gonna need The audience. Mm. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave, me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Lord. You know what I like. <laughs> Down boy. Man. <laughs> Leave me alone, boy. You know what I like. Nice one. Woo. Let's, let's Woo. keep it moving. I'm, I'm, let's keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, I'm, getting, nah, I'm, I'm getting closer to Yo, God the way they year. scoring that thing now, you know what I'm using. It's going to be tough because longevity it's is... The longe it's the longevity. It's the, yeah, it's the longevity of it. But the scoring is there for it to happen if someone can stay healthy long enough. But that's a lot of fucking points, man. Yeah. Like it's nice. like they're going. The points in it's the points, the years, and the games itself, right? I mean, if he wouldn't, what's so funny is if he didn't take so much time off in the last three or four years, yeah, you know, we be playing forty games, fifty games, fifty five games. Yeah, he'd have broke that fucking three years ago. Like he had to in order to I know, still be so in order but, to still be playing today. But that's the problem. He had to. But that's the problem. Because of the way they play now in the minute restriction and all of that, mm -hmm. and how they force, you know, you to sit down. Them first ten years where he was playing all those games and playing all those minutes, and there was no uh, management, right? There was no, you know, game management then. So he got to eat mm -hmm. a lot of them. Um, mm -hmm. Of that scoring up, yeah. right? So I, it, it'd be hard. They said even like with somebody like Luca, yeah. you got to do this for nineteen. I mean, nineteen more years. Luca's not playing for nineteen. That's why I said, nine, nine, he, nine, that's why I said whoever yeah, he is, he's, he's not even yeah. physically yeah. gifted yeah. enough. Yeah, to play not that. even. Yeah, yeah. Like you, it, like it, it literally has to be someone exactly I built. Think, I yeah, think, he's not born yet, and, and so thirty-five. He's not born yet, and then the kid that's gonna break the three-point record not born yet. What? Nah. And, and Russell Westbrook. Well, uh, oh, well, I don't triple, know. Double triple double record thing. I don't know. That's it. That's that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Luca know. might be able to get that one. But like the three and the the three pointers and the points. I don't know. I don't think they. I don't even think those two Shit, the people way, are even born yet. Shit, the way Nikola played. 
Yeah. That, yeah, like, if, no, 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 no. To beat... Because you already got... No, to beat Steph's three-pointer, that you have to be training that kid right now. Right. Like, Trey, Trey Young? Six, seven, eight years old. Like, no, Trey Young has a chance because Trey Young is probably already in front of him at the same time frame. Mm-hmm. But you're talking about, like, a kid right now that's working on his mechanics mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. a shooter. Right. Right, you can't but, wait till you get to the NBA to yeah. try to beat Steph. Steph yeah. was... Okay. Created at 10, 11 it, with his mechanics. B- but but it's more than mechanics with shooting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know that. I mean, but, but mechanics and then the reps in. The rep, yeah. It's more than that, too. Okay. I think it's, no, I guarantee, mm-hmm. right, the reason Steph is great at golf, if you give him a dart to, to, to hit the target, you give him a, I guarantee he hits the target, like, oh, consistently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's his depth perception. Sure, sure. Yep. Like, it's immaculate, mm-hmm. right? That's why, like, no matter where you shoot it from, whether it's from that end of the motherfucking court, it always is online, always. So I, that's why, like, if you watch him play golf, like the hole in one and all that shit, you know, like, it's, the motherfucker's immaculate, man. That motherfucker gonna have to have, I guarantee he's probably at, what, 2010? Yeah, yeah, it's... 25, yeah, 2015? Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker, his vision and depth percentage is... Right, that's what I said at all, at all. Because every... Who in the history of the game and every time he shoots, we think it's going in? Like, that- I mean, Luca right now. Mm-hmm. Luca give me that <laughs> every time he go up. Yeah, but I'm just, yeah. but Steph bad motherfucker, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that niggas are animal. Okay, Mark, you were saying offensive huh? explosion, oh, pace animal. of the game. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, we got more 20 point scores now, I think, than we've yeah. ever had in NBA history. That's your more 30 point scores. No, more 30 more. Uh, more more 30 right. point scores. Nobody want no and 20 point scores. And 20 point Yeah, no, like I, I said before, man, like, ain't no, everybody ain't that fucking good, man. <laughs> These good, they, they are talented as they come now, absolutely. The game has evolved. It's a lot of talent out here. Yes, yeah. there is. But. But no, no, no. But yeah, I know what he's going. But yeah, these guys are good, man. They, they are. They they work at it. The crafts, the reps, like all of it is better than this ever. Could think about being. Mm-hmm. But there's you just everybody ain't that bad of a defender, dog. You know what I'm saying? It just it just can't be. No, they it, are. It can't because a lot of kids go to college. Like a lot of these kids going to college and. You are practicing defense, mm-hmm. individual defense at times, and there's no resistance whatsoever. And you can't tell me that it's just all of a sudden when the playoffs start, you motherfuckers learn to play defense. Like that shit, like, no. Like, so what is the, the, so there is no pride in the game, in my opinion. That's what I was just about to say. Right? Right. Pride. Right. There's, There's no pride, pride what a in individual I'm matched, matchup. I'm matched up against you, nigga. What's up? I'm just better than you. What's up? Uh, so what? Like, prove it. I'm just better prove than you. Prove it. I'm just better Prove it. Like, I can Gil, guard, Gil, I can I'm guard just you. better than you. I can guard you. Yeah, what? I, I can guard you. I don't care about you. Man. I can guard you, though. Nigga, I'm just better yeah. than you. I can like, guard stop, you. Like, stop that. But nigga, I'm just better than you. But I can you. guard nigga, you, though. I'm just better than you. But I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to prove it. And I'm going to prove it. But I'm going to prove it. But I'm going to prove it. Okay. How? If I'm giving you 50. How? Because I'm near. I don't care about you. I don't care about you coming out here playing good. I'm near. Thank you for playing defense. You know what the game of basketball is about? Putting the ball right. in that fucking defense, league. though. This no, putting the ball in you the league. You got to challenge a nigga. To, I don't care you about show all up. that. I don't care about all that. Show up. Care about all that. Show up. Niggas so got, like I was saying, niggas got pride. <laughs> show up. It's niggas New Year's Eve. Niggas got pride. Like, got pride. In the individual, so you can't guard me. You can't every guard me. possession you when I played, right? Mm-hmm. I treat like every possession for me was personal. Mm-hmm. I'm a score. Whether it was offense or defense, it was personal. Each possession was personal, and that's where like the pride thing. Like that's like I don't see that. In each, with some guys you do, they take pride in each individual possession. <clears throat> Why is there such a gap in every, like, that don't, indiv- each individual possession is not important. Okay, okay. That's how you learn to be a winner. All right, but, so if we, take, if we take the best defenders, right? Somebody like Pat Bev, mm-hmm. right? Somebody like... Um, We've always looked at Kawhi as an elite Kawhi, defender, right? right? Kawhi Leonard, yeah, right. Uh, they get they ass busted, still all the time. 
All the time. All the fucking time. They're getting their ass molly whopped. <laughs> all the time. Period. No, all Period. The, all the fucking time. Right. So, like the, straight like that, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's the, 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 like, that's what I'm saying. The, the, like, the concept of, of the defense is not here. The, people got to understand that in the 80s and the 90s, what moves, let's, let's just be honest here, what fucking moves do they have? One dribble pull. In and out, what? One dribble. A pull. dribble, pull probably a spin, right? Behind the back. Behind the back. They didn't have no fucking moves put that together to really get past anybody. So if you didn't have just natural speed or athleticism, you wasn't getting by someone who actually dug down on defense. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't have the creativity then. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you look into the 90s, when the new blood of players came in, the Grant Hills, the Tim Hardaways, the Penny Hardaways, the Al they fucked the league up every time. Every rook, I did the stats and went down from 84 all the way. I don't even know who the fuck was guarding Jordan. <laughs> Nobody. Right, because the Nobody. point guards, if, if a point guard from the 80s say they can, they, they can handle anyone, shut the fuck up at this point. Because one, in the top 20 in scoring, only one guard every year was basically making it, mm -hmm. right? It would be like Magic at 20, mm -hmm. you know, Isaiah at 20. Mm -hmm. um, they, there, wasn't, there was years where a point guard didn't even make it. Oh, and then yeah. from there, shooting guards. Now, if, the, if you think about it, none of the shooting guards actually shot the ball, right? So it was easier to play defense then because there was no, was it three-level scoring? There was no three-level scoring back in the 80s. It was all the, sh all the shooting guards posted up. We're gonna post up, get you in our spot, get the little shot. There was, there was, there was no real creativity. Okay. So now when the game is progressing, Allen Ivers is coming in, the Vince Carter's coming in, and then all these two guards and point guards are coming in, they have versus the three moves, they got 25 different moves that they can okay. use, but the defense hasn't changed. I understand what you're saying. Like if I'm on the right side, where are you gonna push me? I'm with you, but me climbing in your shit, me getting my hand on the ball, deflections, all that shit matter, right? But yes, <laughs> right? defensively. If I sit down, like so, for me, right, me thinking defense and me guarding different guys over time. I've guarded fucking everybody imaginable, right? You're not gonna beat me with your a move. Mm -hmm. And in this NBA, everybody's a move is that's all, that's what I'm saying. Like, make make a motherfucker do something different <laughs> than, than than one. Wait, right? uh, no. Well, when the fuck have we seen anyone's A move? Like, they start off on C. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Right? <laughs> Shit, we don't even see A moves or B moves so anymore. So make them get to that, and then you pump, you, then I patch you on your ass, you make it tell you good shot, dude. Mm -hmm. So I made you work for it. I don't see people making dudes work for it. Working man, for it. Oh, man, I don't think you can. Like, dude, I, dude, I dude listen, I, dude. Man, dude, let me ask you I'm, this. Let me ask you bro, this. Bro, listen, listen, yeah, yo, motherfuckers out there. So let me ask you this. The same yo. page. We making man, this motherfucker hey. work tonight. Man, my rookie. We making get, them work for it. There's one it. person that I watch, right? Y'all know that's how the terminology go. We making them work for it tonight. First games I ever seen. And I haven't seen anybody make Jason Tatum do anything. You know it's coming. Mm-hmm. You know it's coming. Mm-hmm. Get closer to him. That's all I'm saying. Like it's shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. You know what he about to do. Sidestep. It's coming. <laughs> I sit at home, dude. No, that's facts. Played, no, that's facts. I man. ain't played in the NBA since 2015, dog. Uh -huh. I know the shit coming. Mm -hmm. And I say to myself all the time, the motherfucker that guard him, take a step forward. Mm -hmm. It's simple. It's little shit like that. Listen, okay, you do it. You step tight. I'm going to make you cross that bitch back to... And then if you step that way and you make that bitch going that way, mm -hmm. I'm going to pat you on your ass and tell you good shot, young fella. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah, but, okay. I ain't asking you to you, shut the nigga down. These motherfuckers are great scorers. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you, ain't nobody shutting nobody down this NBA. That's, mm -hmm. that's not what I'm asking for. Just make him do some more. You, you had Jamal Crawford, right? You had him on your team? No, no but I... Oh, you didn't play? Oh, y'all you, was with no. the Clippers? Mm -hmm. that, it's like all the one, two, threes and some of the fours got his package. Mm -hmm. So now you. you got four motherfuckers on there doing that shit. I'm with you. Yeah, that's different, but, man. But you don't have four guys who are going to take each like, possession personal either. So 
I'm with uh, listen. I hear it, but it's just... Um, it's, it's like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Even the guys who do take it seriously, you're putting 30 on their head. So, you know, you a, a dude that just... He's half assing. It don't matter. Certain, not a different, yes, it is. Not a when you work with him, you work for it. You ain't making it's me work than you make How? 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 Like this, that was tough. What is it's a tough I don't mean 30. to talk bad about oh, the kid, right? Oh, my God. Oh, um, the kid that just got traded to Toronto, Emmanuel Quickly, right? Mm hmm. Right? They playing. I gave them 32 and 9. My third year. He averaged. My third game in the NBA. He averaged like. How hard is that? Some shit. He gave like like 40 against somebody before. Like, it's just shit like that. My third year in the, my third game in the league. It wasn't hard. I get right, 55 right after that. No, 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 no. no like, like no, but I'm, no, but I'm just saying, like, pride. Like, nigga, if I want to score a 30, I'm gonna score a 30. <laughs> if the fuck you think so, no, no, no. But, but so I'm let's just put that no, in no, no. context. Like, like what the Kenyon fuck? wasn't fucking guard you. Man, I, let's I, let's I, you gotta guard you. Call the spade a fucking spade. You out there? But you ain't gotta guard you. Out there? 32 and nine. I wasn't guarding you. You were out there. 32 and nine. I was there. You wasn't my matchup. You wasn't my matchup. Right after I guarantee. 55. 55. I guarantee. Right after that, play no, 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 what I'm Guarantee. No, don't look. 32 and 9. All right. Pick guarantee. Constantly switch. Oh, whoever that, that is. Whoever that was. I don't know That was an that important was. game for you. It seems. I don't know whoever that was. Name I don't name. remember it. It was important no, no. to you. It wasn't no, no, important no. to us. I mean, no, but, 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 I mean, but it was an important play. game to you that you scored 30 on us. So. Yeah, 30, yeah. But I don't rookie. fucking remember. Yeah, but you got five games in? But, but no, I don't no, fucking no, remember. No, no, seriously. Like, there's there's shit. There's these time gaps. One game amongst 15 no, years. That shit no, didn't matter no, what I'm to saying me at all. There's these time gaps. 32 and now. Who gives a fuck? No, that people are not paying attention to you. It's me. At all. Like when Gary Payton came in the league. Gary Payton came. I mean, not Gary Payton. When um. You remember how many points they scored. I don't when. Tim Hardaway came in the, when Tim Hardaway came in the game, right? He became a top twenty scorer, right? When Penny came in the, in, the, in the NBA, think about the guard at the time. Right. He became a top twenty scorer. Grand Hill as a rookie, going against Michael Jordan and the Bulls, the Bulls that we know. He said, "This is easy. This is easy because think about it. If you're if you're Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan." Before him, you weren't used to that. Who did you guard like? Who did you guard that did what he did? Nobody. Oh, no. You never seen in your position someone coming downhill crossing you over. So to Grand Hill, these icon defenders look like cheese whiz. Yeah, I saw Jamal Mashburn and Jim Jackson give the Bulls. Oh, of course. Hey, back to back fifty. Back to back to back. Hey, back to back fifty. Because if you well, look I'm with you, if you look yeah. at who they're playing, those guys that was coming in when Michael Jordan was, he never seen that type of talent. Yeah. Right? They, he never seen it. The just like it was Clyde Drexler, just right? yeah, like Clyde Drexler, right? who can only go right. right. Those like guys and, and most of the sh most of the shooting guards, Dale, Dale oh, Ellis right. and all of the Reggie, they yeah. couldn't jump or right. nothing, and they can shoot, or they can shoot that so or or one of the two. If you can shoot the ball, you didn't, you wasn't a real scorer. Absolutely. If you was a scorer, you couldn't shoot the ball for shit. So a great defender, then like I'm guarding you and you shooting 18 percent from the free throw line. Yeah. I mean the three point line. I, I'll, you come to me. Yeah. I'm not coming to you. Right, right, right. Back then, the shooting guards won two dribbles. They had to pull the ball yeah, up. Absolutely. Right? So it was a little bit easier for those guys when the talent really started coming in, right? Even right before me. The NBA didn't, the, the coaches, they didn't even know what to do with this group. Mm -hmm. And they got penalized for it when Mulberry, mm -hmm. Baron Davis, Stevie Franchise, Right when those guys came in the league, a guard that was six four, six three, with the forty four inch bounce that can score, they didn't know what to, they didn't know how to coach it. They just said, "All right, niggas are selfish," because it was a new it was a new breed of guards. Yeah, all would have had to go play for Houston. <laughs> yeah, all, you know what I mean, like they didn't know they didn't really know what it was, and everybody was getting pigeonholed. And the reason that I kind of survived is because I have a big man. Yeah. Right? I didn't have Yao Ming and all these guys I had to pass the ball to. So there's these little gaps when a new, a new type of player comes in that when he looks at this, it's like, you guys, like you guys are defenders. You guys suck. Yeah, but because you're not used to what I'm bringing. But look, even you being a poor defender, if the effort is there and pride is like, 
you were just in the way at that point. Like, you running around trying to be a pest. Like, yeah. you know you can't guard the nigga. So if, if you're in the game and you just getting six fouls, use all your six fouls. Yeah. My nigga, you in there to foul. You in there to be in the way. Do, but, but look, yeah, if, you can, if you can defend you. and you get the opportunity to defend, Motherfucker guard. But that's what the, the, to go back to the question, we talking about today. Why are they not taking pride in defense today like we, well, like we was taking pride? Me either, though. No, 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 you really think a nigga out there like, oh yeah, I can't wait for you to get 50 on me tonight. They not saying that, but they not saying I'm going to stop you from getting 50. They not saying I'm going to stop you. If you just, if you can't, you can't. You think that, you think people going in and be like, yeah, he about to score 35. No, they so, try. So no, no, but there are certain guys that's the exception to what the fuck I'm saying. Mm -hmm. you, right? You playing. You. He is one of, listen, yo, it ain't even motherfucker y'all tripping. Um, you got it. Yeah, is there certain guys that's exceptional to what, the, like, that you can't, when I played, there was no defense for Shaquille on there. She, no, no defense. We, there was no defense. Mm -hmm. there, in my opinion, there, right now, there's no defense for Joel Embiid. No defense, uh -huh. right? For Giannis, at times, there, like, mm -hmm. there's no, and there's a few other guys in that category that I mm -hmm. put absolutely that the, there's no good for what you do. Like no defense for Tatum. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's like nothing there's, that, there's just guys that just are. I they're above the. They're they above are, the curve. They are, but, and so therefore, like so, the, I, I'm coming out. and I got to guard Kobe doing. Mm -hmm. Cool, he gonna come. I'm gonna make you go boom, boom, boom. He gonna have to pivot back, do. And he, plenty of times I didn't jump, came down, fouled him. The good defense. I, it's each possession. I'm the, okay, but, let's be honest. Your yeah. perimeter D, when you talking about what you're saying and what he's what he's considering, I'm saying if we, we uh, took that your approach to uh -huh. perimeter D, how motherfuckers will close the space, do all this to a Jason Tatum, all these guys we saying that it's, it's impossible to guard. I think that it, it neutralizes them. They're not used to being guarded in that way, the way we used to take away the game from good players. So let me actually hear what he said. On, no, 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 hold, hold on. Okay. What position do you play? I played the four. Right? So that means from the three, two, and one, could not guard Kobe to the fact that you, out of position, freak of nature, nah. had to neutralize him. Nah. You know what I mean? He's the best defender on the team, though. So you now can put your best problem. defender. Your power forward. Not just because he's the biggest Think guy. Think about what I'm saying. Your power forward has to come down to guard him. That mean, now, when you think about it like that, how many freaking natures are actually in the NBA yeah. that knows how to play defense? One, two, maybe? Yeah. Right? So, so Kobe, Kobe's, in his sense, there's only, how many times he had to play you? Yeah. On the East, twice? But they not so, gonna... You know what I mean? So that's four games out of 82 that I have to really mentally worry about scoring. For the most part, it's lunch meat. Oh, yeah, you're cooking, motherfucker. But if, if, Rube, if Ruben, which was on your team, right, if he was starting with Rube Bar... Yeah. Would, you, would he guard him instead of would, you? Yeah, I would put Rube on him. Boom. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then if, if it fucked up with Rube, then K like, yo, let me, let me get mm -hmm. this motherfucker, right? So that's what I'm saying as far as the initial contact. It's like if K, if K has somebody that can guard the motherfuckers, they're going to do that. He's going to be the secondary guy. But if he, got, if he the starter and we like, look, we know Melo not going to guard this guy. Chuck ain't right. going to guard him. K, you got him. You got to get him. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You, you, you a defender? Yeah I, yeah, I used to be. Okay, that's what I mean. <laughs> How many defensive slides did you do in the summer? A lot. You did? You did. So you How many niggas have you locked up? A lot. No, 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 no. Who have you locked you up? Win. Yeah. You got to win. No. When you undefeated in ones, you got to lock niggas up. No, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. I want him. I want. I really. No, no think about this. Line drills. They still right? ain't got out. No, line drills, right? <laughs> but, but think, about, think about a defensive player, right? How much defense are you really doing in the summer? Like, how many, how much defense are you really thinking about? Oh, I didn't. In the summer? You didn't. didn't. But no. if you're playing and, once, like, if you know what I'm saying? Think about what he's saying. He didn't, right? It just came naturally to him. Yeah. But an offensive player, if, you sh if he shut me down, all I'm doing is watching film on him the whole summer trying to figure out when I see him again, how am I going to score? Like, I'm trying to look for telltale signs. So you got offensive players literally looking at rule books. We're, sp we're spending our time looking at rule books, looking at the rules on how to craft our offense around it, which means you guys are at a disadvantage every fucking year, right? So when you're looking at it now, 
if the defense starts looking at the rooting and the wording and all that and start crafting their defense around it, yeah, you can close the gap for the most part. You don't you don't think James Harden gets this book and look at, all right, uh, oh, wait, step is after I pick it up. If I pick it up at the same time, that's a zero step. Boom. Now I get one, two. So now I get three steps on a person, but it only counts as two. So I bounce it at the same time. That don't count. Then I can euro the shit out of you. And you're sitting there like, what the fuck is that? Oh, that's a gather step. See, that's coming from the root, just listening to the, like, reading the rules of the rule book. The defensive players ain't doing that, man. See, they ain't got, see, me, I don't have to, I'm going to let you Euro that shit, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go block that motherfucker up top. See, you, I'm going to swing <laughs> both ways. 44 inch vertical, yeah, so you can do gonna, that. You're going to motherfucking go, and I'm going to motherfucking swing this way, and I'm going to swing that way. I'm, like, so this, defense starts before the motherfucker get the ball. Mm -hmm. We all know. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. The great Tim Duncan. I love the matchup. The motherfucker was excellent. And what he did. My job, I, so I, my thought process is, I know I'm guarding him, right? I know I got to get, he want to go walk right down the lane, post me up on the block, right? He taller than me, he weigh more than me. I can't let you catch the ball where you want to catch it. Mm -hmm. So I meet you, I force you out. Now you catch the ball where I want you to catch it. Now if you score, cool. It ain't cool, but you work to get to the motherfucking ball, and you work. To, I, you score from where I want you to score, from, not where you want to catch it. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Yep. And, and that's part of being a good defender. Like, mm -hmm. motherfuckers gonna score. They good. Absolutely. I ain't never. I ain't saying I shut Tim Duncan down. No. He scored on me. Absolutely. It's mm -hmm. Fucking first ballot Hall of Fame, five champ. Absolutely. Can I add to your but, point though? Yeah. What you was talking about in the summertime, how you prepare. Mm -hmm. For like what, what we always did was ones and what ones did was allow the, de the defense to play different ways, right? And if you're learning how to get by this guy this way, he's going to play on the right side. The, the one thing you did say is like when a guy like Kenyon get the best of you, you remember that. You, mm -hmm. You're trying to figure out how to do it. So that stuck in your mind as a loss when you're thinking in the summer. I knew how he guarded me. I remember that. So I'm going to play ones until, I, until someone tries to guard me the same type of way. Then I'm going to figure out how to get around it. But I'm training for that. Mm -hmm. Every day we train, there's ones at the end. Let's figure out this footwork. Let's, all the shit we just did, let's put it to work with somebody actually defending it. I don't see them doing that in the training today. And that's why the pride is gone, because if we're working out together and if we don't fucking go one-on-one -on -one every day, and we don't keep score, where's our competitive edge? We the best, we some of the best. I want to beat you every time. And anything we doing, I'm like, I'm trying to beat Gil today because he won yesterday. Fuck that. Kenya won two days ago. But but I'm trying to beat his ass today. He ain't getting no boards today. I'm boxing him up every time. It depends on what type of player you're playing against. If I'm playing against you in the summer and you take one serious, I'm just waiting to see how your defense play. Right. What right. type of defense you play. Right. Now, if you're a defensive player and then we play in the game and now you done shut me down in the summer, that means you're overzealous. Yep. Right? So I'm going to use your overzealousness against yep. you yep. in the game. So yep. if I know you ride the pick over, I'm going to do what Sam Cassell used to do the fucking me. <laughs> Go over real hard so you can run over it, then stop. Pop. <laughs> stop. Nigga, I run right into him. He's shooting the shot. Now you got three fucking yep. free throws. Right? <laughs> oh, he gone. He Go all the way. Bad. Push it all the way left. Absolutely. Right? Right, be wide open and then pump, pump fake, fake you fake jump you. like you, you know what I mean. So, yeah. you know, like Kobe used to do ones and want to work out with you just to see your your just to see what you can do. Are you gonna go compete? Yeah. Like how you gonna, you gonna do? Compete? Like he wasn't. Right. He wasn't so he like, getting the advantage of you. He you getting the advantage. Compete. He's getting the advantage no. of you. You no. showing him what you got by He's the time. Him, by the time won, that shit, that's the whole by the time point. that shit get crazy with twenty thousand in there, you're done. Yeah, yeah, done. You are done. done. You already know you're what I'm done. on. You know what I'm on. Well, what chess. are you on? You're I'm on everything. You're done. Everything. No, that Sam shit funny. You're done. You got me every time. We got a little bit over an hour to New Year's on the East Coast, and we got a crowd here with us. We got a fan question. Count your fucking days, man. So let's get it. So staying on the topic of defense, um, so we all know the Bucks got better adding Damian Lillard offensively. But do you think with them getting rid of Drew Holiday that that's going to affect them in the playoffs and winning another chip? Okay, just naturally, in the playoffs, defense gets tighter because the ball slows down. You're more half-court team. You have everyone's plays. So I think... Just naturally, just with Giannis and uh, Lopez back there, Middleton, that they have enough defense where you don't really need Drew Holiday 
what you de- what you do need is you need Dame scoring because when you can't score because of Giannis and they're closing him in, you have someone who can keep the floor stretched. So I think it'll help. Like they, it will, Dame will help them in the playoffs because you know when it, when the playoffs start, Dame can shoot from so far and he can just break away from whatever the game plan is. It kind of helps him a little bit. What's their record right now? I mean, he's the Bucks fan. I don't. He ain't no the Bucks are currently twenty-four and eight, second in the Eastern Conference. The game is about buckets. Twenty-four and eight. Yeah, that's, twenty-four that's and eight, different. second in the. So East. they don't really got nothing to worry about. It just feels bad because they ain't really like killing like we expected to kill. And they still playing well. You know, it's so, like they still playing well. They they're not playing well enough for us to be like y'all the top team. Yeah, two games out of. The, 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 the that part is the top two teams are the top two teams, <laughs> exactly. right? I mean, if we would have looked at it before they started, we would have probably put what. Hindsight put Bucks one, yeah. Celtics two. Celtics two. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, the two teams are where they supposed to be. I, yeah. I, I guess in a sense. Well, yeah, no, I think Dame scoring. It's more important. At this point, like, you can you can scheme playoff basketball. Mm-hmm. Put him in positions, guard weak, the weakest guy out there. You, you trap in, you roll. Uh, certain things you do during the playoffs that I, I don't think that's. That big of a deal right mm-hmm. now, but because the way Dame can put that thing in the basket, so I think Dame took over uh, Chris Middleton's responsibility, and I think Chris, oh, Chris Middleton's nice third. Moved, and he and Chris Middleton's moved into this yeah, nice fucking, third. He's in limbo, right? Yeah. And I think it's good for Dame because Dame's never had a big that can cover so much ground, right? And he doesn't have to show up scoring wise as much as he used to. But when he does, it's on, right on time, mm-hmm. right when they need it. It's like, oh, shit, damn, we, we glad you went off in the fourth for 24, right? But he know he's adjusted now to the way that Giannis plays, that this, he can carry us for three quarters. We always talk about that. Three quarters, and where's your finisher? Mm-hmm. Damn, where you at? Dollar time. This is what we got you for. Be the fucking guy for us. And I think he's getting adjusted to that. So we, we're going to see how the Bucks look in this postseason, but let's move on to our number two storyline just real quick. Dan, that was only three? G- we were moving. Ooh. Moving to Shaker almost an hour away from New Year's. Y'all know y'all already talking it. We long-winded around this bitch. We ain't, been, we ain't done <laughs> yeah, about, about 10 friends. days. Uh-huh. We got to get some love to the Nuggets for winning the first championship of franchise history, not getting snubbed out of his third straight MVP joker. Bounced back to win his first finals MVP. We also got to show some love to the Lakers, too. They also made history winning the first and hardest in-season tournament chip in league history with LeBron being named MVP of the NCAA tournament. Now let's move on to our number one storyline. Got to be John Morant, uh, arguably the biggest storyline of this year. Ja got suspended a total of 33 games for conduct detrimental to the league. So after a slew of off-court inc- incidents, Morant received his first eight-game suspension after flashing a gun inside a Denver area shake club. Hmm. Then got hit with a 25-game suspension for flashing a gun on his friend's IG Live. Ja's been back, so when Ja came back, uh, Grizzlies won four straight games. They've since lost three straight, lost to the Kings tonight, got smacked. But where would the Grizzlies be if Ja played all season? How the fuck we supposed to know? If you had to hypothesize, <laughs> you know everything else. Damn, man. 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 You ain't been drinking, you ain't been drinking them shots. I'm supposed to know that, man. <laughs> Did you know everything else? <laughs> he ain't tipsy like us, man. He always Four plays of it. What the fuck? Good answer, Gil. Whatever That's the fuck we say. We <laughs> we you keep dropping your phone, Gil. You fucking around. I'm sorry. You got cracks in it. Let me hope. <laughs> well, one thing we do know. They have more wins than they do. Now. Okay, that's all we. That's all we. <laughs> that's all the fuck we do know. How many, that's how all many we needed to hear. They got four. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, they, they like they got what eleven now. What? Yeah, not ten. Ten. Yeah, so, so they had ten now. We came out when Ja first came back. We talked about yeah. could this team make the playoffs. You said no, no fucking way. Yeah. So they won their first four. Have dropped their their uh, last three games. Yeah, they coming back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there goes gravity. No, um, they, they no, will, not, they will no. be more ja competitive. Been, ja sick. They'll be more competitive. Ja sick, sick bro. Okay, I'll he got that. sick. That's he right. missed one game and he I came got back. I'm with, okay, okay, okay yeah. cool. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah, but he definitely <laughs> he definitely moves the needle for them. So, definitely. Absolutely. fucking loop. Grizzly ten and twenty one right now, so but thirteenth in the West. But it's it's a tall task ahead of them to make the playoffs. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You still think? I don't think they make the playoffs. Okay. Yeah. What about this side of the couch, Gil? Can you predict into the future, or is that against what we do on Gil? <laughs> we're going to present a minor fantasy war. Um, 
That's taking the kind of. I mean, if I mean, if he can get them to the J off, I mean, I mean, to the playoffs. <laughs> What the fuck the is the jail? jail? What the what fuck is the jail? jail? jail. <laughs> I had jail in like my jail? Jail. Yeah, like jail? Jail and playoffs combined. Jail. Jail. Damn. It was like Kimmy. They got celebrities that just mash names. I just did that shit. Jail off, nigga. The jail. Jail. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't drink. Fuck? Watch them jail niggas go take that. <laughs> with the good. Jay off, nigga. We got the jail offs up in here. Y'all ain't putting shit in the drink, is y'all? The jail off. <laughs> J off in this shit. I feel like I'm in one of them Diddy parties. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we want to keep this show on the air. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Trying to make it to 2024, Jill. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Trying to make it to 2024, Jill. Hey, Jill, hey, Jill. Trying to make it to 2024. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Max, you're gone. We got to pause. Max, you're gone too far. You're gone too far. You killed my guy. Come on, man. Yeah, we trying to make it to 2024. We're going to take a smoke. Yeah, we got a studio so audience here. We don't need no free accident. Man, I'm trying to. We got, I got live here. Memphis. We got to live I'm, here. No, I said I, I tried to say here. playoffs. Listen, I got Memphis <laughs> making it just because I think the NBA need John ja Morant for my season. They do. We think John ja making an all-star game. Can we predict that? Uh, oh, nah, I mean. I told you how it's got to happen. I mean, we got to see them. Yo, when is the vote? Yeah, where them numbers at? Fan vote. It usually come up with mid-January, the yeah, first like round. like yeah. Mid-January was the tough. first round. Oh, this man right I think here. they need to run off some wins and have the coaches and the people in the league in position to have to pick him. Yeah. That's what I think. I, I mean, but yeah. fan, I mean, he could get fan voted in. That's what I'm saying. Would it be hard because it is Luka, it is Luka and Curry. It is Luka and Curry that okay. he has to get in front of, and that is just fucking If he hard, lived in so. a different city, huh? if he lived in a different city think, with more people. people like trouble. Yeah. That, that plays a factor. What has to happen is Nike themselves have to push him. Has to really, like, really do a number. They just gotta win out. Nah, I'm they talking about. They just gotta win out. No, no, no. Win out not, for fan, not for fan. I'm talking about fan votes. When you're talking about fan votes, like, they should be having a campaign I think that's gonna be running. Run I think if he got momentum, though, the fan, I think the fan vote gonna be stronger if they get momentum from winning. Did y'all hear? And looking like a good team. Like, they, like, yo, did they really. On some bad news bears type shit. You heard about Vince Carter fan voting, right? When they used to throw f voting parties. Oh, yes. Moms used to throw voting parties. They had to throw voting parties where everybody in that motherfucker just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Swear to God. Yes. Hell yeah. They used to sit there and vote. Nigga, we gonna throw a party. Yeah, hell yeah. Toronto, Jack. Right. So, yeah. Speaking of fans, we got to fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, man, in the park, you, you, you don't remember that motherfucker? Made the, he made the All-Star. He had the Nelly party hurt. Yeah, motherfucker on stage. <laughs> yeah, niggas. Speaking of fans, we got a fan question. What? So with fuck? Redemption being on Ja Morant's mind, do y'all think he'll win an MVP in his career? What? <sighs> well, Ja? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he the new AI. With Redemption being on his mind, mm -hmm. Do you think he will win? Obviously not this season, but do you think he will win one in his career? The, the, I mean, the way MVP voting is, is is how he plays the game, right? It's 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 just like when um, Rose won his that year, right? Averaging about t twenty-seven, six, and five, and his team is number one in the West. He, he could. No, no, he was in the West. Derrick Rose. No, Chicago. I'm talking. No, D. Rose oh, man. One. Yeah, what did D. Rose average when he won MVP? 24. 24. 24. Couldn't get off. No, no more. than five. No more. Six. But he was number one, right? So all he has to have is, you know, when you're talking about, like, Don't voters, vicious. right? Come off to a good start. Have some of those highlights. Your team is one. I think you can pull it off. But to be honest, I mean, these motherfuckers average 33, 35. I mean, you God play, damn. Yeah. They going to have to be first in the West. He gonna have to average thirty. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like twenty-eight, thirty, right? He gonna have to have at least thirty. At least he gonna have to average at least thirty, and they gonna have to be first in the West. What if they just won? Nah, it's that just one. And what is he averaging? Like, like twenty-six. No, that no, those days is over with, bro. Now when you no. got Embiid averaging thirty, you got Luka averaging thirty-seven. But Memphis, he averaging thirty-five. I think he misses. You window. got a.
He missed it? I think he missed John missed his window. Nah, bro. Nah. I'm saying for, his the, window? Oh, for, nah. the, for the momentum nah. process. For the momentum he process. He's going to have to do some amazing. For, for the momentum process of him look, being look a, <laughs> untouchable. He was untouchable. He only 24, though. Yeah, I know. I'm not, say, I'm not saying that he don't. he's not going to be you able to do it. I'm saying that I feel like the window has closed on it being nah. as easy as it could have been. No, no, nah. but you know why? It could have been very easy nah, for him to do it. Like, even like next year, if he would have never did this shit, like next year he can get it. I think it opened up because now. They, they're watching him with a, a, a scope now. Before they wasn't. The fact that he got in trouble so much, they're looking to take him down so much that everyone's watching him. So when he sits there and jumping his elbows, touch the backboard on block shots, that becomes more of a highlight now. 100%. So I, gotta, think, it, 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 I think it'd be easier for him to win an MVP within the next two, three years. He got to, it, it has to look. I ain't saying he got to average a triple double. It has to look. It like got to look like Russ. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Like, it has to look like that. But winning. A, but with but winning. With, with winning. With winning. It has to look dominant in mm -hmm. those type of night in, night out numbers and performances that we we like. God damn! You see what Ja did? Like, mm, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh shit, Ja. Like that's. Well, people saying about Luca now. Luca right. putting up them numbers. Everybody like, damn. You see what Luca doing? <laughs> damn, Luca. Fifty. So he, so he got to do shit like that. Couple the highlights system. and dunks, but yeah. yeah. Like 50 yeah. point triple doubles, and he gotta he gotta start implementing the pass in his game or he's putting up those. But it's gotta be more than what everyone else is doing in the league. Yeah. Or just look like I mean it has to just look. look. I said it has, it has to look. Has to look. It's it's look. Like, 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 like the outside noise of it's gotta be loud as Like with D Rose only averaged 24, but it looked like it looked like 30. It looked like 30. The way we talk about it. Every last five minutes, that shit looked like when people talk about that D Rose MVP year. It it sounds like he was really murking people, but he averaged only 24. The last murking. five minutes, though. That's the, la is the last five that minutes, last five minutes he and was taking over. Highlights. The highlights. He started hitting some game winning. He dunking on people, yeah, but he got the kind of game. It got out. me. Fucking mother. So John, John was only 24. We will see if he can get an MVP under his belt. But our co-host Lexi Brown isn't here with us on the couch today, but she did send in a video featuring a very special guest. Happy New Year, y'all. Sorry I couldn't make it. I'm in Florida spending time with the fam, but my dad has a very special Boston Celtics question for y'all. What's up, guys? Happy New Year. Here is the Celtics trivia question. Who is the only player to ever play with Bill Russell, John Havlicek, and Larry Bird? Bill Russell, John Havlicek, and Larry Bird. Good luck. What's the center? Robert Pears. Robert yeah. Pears. First off, shout out to Lexi and D Brown for making it. Robert Parrish. I'm, I'm thinking Robert Parrish. So y'all going? Rob, anybody in the crowd? Wait, who who who's the three? So uh, Bill Russell, John Havlicek, and Larry Bird. It wouldn't be Bob Cousy. Uh, <laughs> it got to be Robert. What's the debate? Robert Parrish. Parrish is what. So who's 70? the only Celtic to play with Bill Russell, John Havlicek, and Larry Bird? He played 20 years. Huh? Because he played 20 years. Bill Walton? No. No. Okay. Robert Paris played 20 Robert years. Robert played 20 years, so Robert it has to be played 20 Paris. years. And Larry Bird. So Larry Bird's rookie year was what year? 79-80. 79. 79. No, so he would have missed He would have missed Bill Russell. Anybody in the, the crowd got any thoughts? The whoever playing with him was on his last year. Maybe. Kevin McHale is Might not correct. on his last year. Kevin McHale, hell no. Hold on. They're not going to get it, but... Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson. Nah, hell no. no. He's too young. Too young. Yeah, I, hell. Say that. Huh? Yeah, play with Bill Russell. Freckles? Play with Bill yeah. Russell. Yeah. Play with Bill Russell. Russell. Keep the freckles? Play with Bill Russell, okay? You got the freckles, right? <laughs> play yeah. with Bill Russell? He wouldn't play with and Bill John Russell. And John Havlicek? What? 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 Okay, when did Bill Russell retire? 70 what? Three? 60 something. Oh, 60. Oh, shit. 69? Oh. So that means they would have had to be. So they would have had to be a rookie. They would have had to be a rookie. Or very young in that that. They'd have to be like a rookie one, two years. To be honest, I'm, I'm gonna just be honest know. with him. I, nope. I, it was all white then. Like we didn't. <laughs> what the fuck? The answer is an African American man. No, what I'm saying it is, it is. Well, what I'm saying, the team was all white then. We was not. We Laker fans. It was over the here. coach. Max Williams. It was the coach. coach. It the was. Coach. Uh, I think the uh, coach. Uh, 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 who was the coach? with McKell and them. <laughs> Black dude. What's his name? Sam Jones. Sam Jones. No. Who? So who the fuck is? Y'all want the answer? Somebody got it? Yeah, goddammit. Oh, okay. Sam Jones. Nah. Who is it? Y'all niggas back here Googling this shit still not getting it right. Who is it? Who? Tom Samuels. No. Who the fuck is it? So the answer is Don Chaney. Who? 
Don, oh, get, hold on. Don Chaney? The nigga from the movie? From the movie from the movie? Uh, <laughs> Warlock? Cheeto, nigga. Warlock from Iowa. That's Don Cheeto. <laughs> bro, chill out, bro. Chill out. <laughs> nigga. Oh, bro. The nigga from Iron Man? <laughs> chill out. <laughs> Talking about from Rebound. He old in the motherfucker, too. So shit. From Rebound? Rebound. Who? Errol Manigault? Yeah, you fucking me up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Don Cheeto. That's, uh, Don that Cheney. Was, uh, was so go. <laughs> went on the coast right? Clippers. Yeah, Don Cheeto came to the alley. He was, was like, that okay, okay, wasn't he? Is he a Hall of Famer? <laughs> Can you a Hall of Famer? Come well, on, deep brown. He's a black man. In, a, a black man in Boston. Give you a Hall of Famer. No, what, what I'm saying, that's what a I'm difficult saying is, question. If you're like, not a Boston, I mean, Boston, yeah. you got to be a Boston, Boston fan. And I'm sorry, deep nah, brown. Sure. We not Boston. We like we know you. All we had the pumps. All I remember about Boston is kicking their ass year in year out. Okay, that I do remember about Boston. And rest in peace, Don Chaney passed away in 2021. Show your respect. He had to coach the Clippers. It was a tough life. Yeah. All right. So now let's get into our top five NBA players of this calendar year. So our producers compiled their list. It's producers? The producers of this show, Gil. Underdog. Gil's represented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> top five players this calendar year. So hours right. of debates and discussion. We did not include y'all because we wanted to Who's give you the list now. Year? Huh? This calendar year. This calendar year, but... Okay. So from January 1st. January 1st to December 31st, year our Lord 2023. So I'm, I'm going to read the top five. Let me know if... All right. How y'all feeling? Ahead, <laughs> number, number five, Jimmy Butler. Cap! Number four, Giannis. Nope. Number Can three, LeBron drink? James. No. What's the, what's number two, Embiid. And number one, Joker. What are we talking about again? So say it again now. So top five list, Jimmy Butler, Giannis... LeBron, Raymond James Sr. Who put that list together? MB. I don't know, but that list is nasty. Joker. And Luca ain't on there. And Luca not on there. And Jason Shy not, not on there. there. Jason Tatum not on there. Shy. Wait, wait, hold, hold on. Oh Yo. Wait, first Jason, of all. Jason Tatum like and Luca not, not on there right now. <laughs> and, no, what I'm saying is last yeah. year's, yeah. last year's yeah. they need first to, they team. They need to hold Toronto team. Last, last year's first team was Luca, Shea, Tatum, <laughs> MB, MB and Joker. And Joker. And all five of them are averaging 30 this right year. Right now, yep. Right? So those five are That's damn cool. near identical. And then you have the person who was second in MVP voting, who was supposed to win the MVP, Jokic, right? But the way the rules were, he couldn't be first team, so he automatically got put the second team, right? So that six motherfuckers right there fighting for five. I don't know how, sorry, yeah. King James is in it. I don't even know how, because those six, yes. is, those six are actually the ones that's fighting. Yeah. So King James can't beat it, and no motherfucking yeah. way in hell, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is even close to this. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, Go talk about Jimmy, your man. No, he can't. He can't even. He know. He can't even defend. He can't even defend. I know you can't defend. Go ahead. He cannot. I told you, niggas. You you cannot. I told you, niggas. You cannot. Once he came in there with the with the motherfucking with the whatever that. I told y'all. I Emo? Off. I told him. He, Yo. He stopped drinking coffee. He can't defend that shit. shit. He can't defend that shit. I know he can't As bad as he would want to at this particular point. I jump point, ship. He, he jumped ship, I but he jump can't ship. defend that shit. I jumped ship quick. Yes. I, I told you I yeah. wasn't going to come in here defending that nigga with y'all no more. Okay. Hey, right, before we go any further, Don movie. Chaney's still alive. We apologize. Oh. We just checked. Wow! Y'all done uh, killed the whole dude. No, nah, they killed Don Chaney. keeping him alive. Don Chaney, the coach at Temple, passed away. Yeah. That ain't the same dude? No, no fuck different, it different, different guy. They're fucking up in the front. Fucking up in the front. God bless the chat. They had to person. let me know. Hey, y'all over here just killing people. <laughs> no, it's a different. Don Chaney did. Don Chaney and Coach Temple. Yo, it's we're making sure y'all niggas is watching. Chaney. But wait, yes, we, got a, we got a fan question first. Let's get our uh, our camera good to go. I never beat Temple when I was in college, FYI. Just so y'all know, they're like 0 oh 4 against the motherfuckers. But let's, mm. let's go. Let's get it. Two questions. <laughs> two part to give him 100. I got two questions. One. I'm a nasty mother. Has Giannis fallen out of the best player to lead category? No. That's one. And two, can Kevin Durant lead the Phoenix Suns to a championship Ooh. ever? Ooh. Is he the answer? Ooh. Good question. KD needs the help. Fact, the fact, what was that first one? Has Giannis fallen out of the best player to lead category? No. Yes. Falling, he's yes. up there. It's, he's third. Yeah. Now. Third. It's yeah. He's I third. Mean, yo. Fourth, really. Fourth. Y'all do Joker. know that shit has. Fifth. Hold on, look. Y'all do know who, that shit. Who has you gonna put him behind after that? I catch it. Okay, I'm just yeah. You catching strays out here? Y'all do know that you shit. Don't put him behind Steph. <laughs> like that he's shit does have an effect on people. Because it would be Luca and B Joker. 
You know they got Shay as an MVP. Gotta say, in I'm just saying. I don't know if you're gonna put Shay up there or not. What I'm saying is, it, it's so you, in your. What your question is? Yes. No, y'all not. As of shit. right now, I'm say something. Because what happens is, you ain't fuck you do. He's yeah. the best player in the league right now. Who is he? Is he? No. I'm asking. No. Uh, Who LeBron? Giannis. No, Giannis. No, he's not LeBron. the best player in the league, but he's okay. still. Is he in the discussion? Yeah. Top five. You starting your franchise with Giannis today? Yes. No, so do people like it to pick? Everybody in the league right now. You starting with Giannis. Like a so, fantasy draft? It's a debate. Ooh, ooh. He's in the fucking conversation. conversation. Are you starting with Giannis? Over Joker? And you get to pick everybody. Wait, anybody Who got the first pick? You do. <laughs> you got the first pick. You trading it? You trading it to number two? He's trading it. If I have the first pick. He's no, trading no, 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 it. Right now, if, you I, first pick, pick, if I have the first pick, I'm everybody. picking Embiid right now. Embiid yeah. right now. Yes, sir. He's fine. Like, okay, because you? even how he's yeah. playing right now, the, he still got Mo in his head. Uh, he do. See, motherfuckers yeah. thought I was tripping when I said he can have a certain five. We said yes. Yeah. Now we you said see he's, he's averaging right. 35. Because he averaged 33 last and year. And he still got more in the yeah. tank. If he played 42 minutes, I give yeah. y'all fuck with that dude out. I give y'all yeah. credit. I what feel I'm like y'all energized him because right what after y'all... Yeah. Like, That's I want y'all to think about it. He only averages 32 minutes a game. It's incredible. He's averaging more points than he averages minutes. If he played AI minutes or how we played... 38 minutes. Then... Yeah. There's no one if he that, played can, 38, that can guard him. Oh, so he would be in. Uh, what? If he played 38 minutes, he'll be averaging 38, 39 points a night. They had to change some shit. If he played 30, he'll be averaging the same amount of points as minutes if he played. Yes. If he played 38, yes. 39 minutes a night, more rebounds. he'll be averaging Way 38, 39 points a night. So and Big currently averaging 34 minutes. You think 38, 39, extra four to five if minutes? He, absolutely. Like, uh, some free throws. Yeah. Free throws. Like the three free throws in a bucket. The reason because he can. Three free throws in a bucket. Bucket. And that the, the reason that the reason that he can do it is because he can actually shoot free throws. Yes, he's very good. So as yeah. dominant as Shaq was, his yeah. his Achilles heels was he couldn't shoot free throws. That's the twenty seven. Right yep. now, <laughs> when you're talking about, I can't give the ball to Shaquille O'Neal at the end of the game. I got to give yep. it to Kobe. So you're thinking about the last five minutes, the superstar gets the ball. He's the superstar that can't. Yeah, Shaq averaged twenty seven, right? And he's missing 10 free throws a night. Yep, 10 a night. Yo. 7 nights. Yo, just, just think about I this know. shit. But people don't understand what the fuck we're like. And Embiid only miss, missing one free missing, throw a night. Missing and 10, he's like shooting 18. That's what I said, missing 10, but he's shooting 18. Yeah. 18. <laughs> Yo, what was the second question? Can KD lead his team to a championship? The Phoenix Suns. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I don't think it's about him being the answer. I think it's more. He's the answer. KD, KD need to lead his ass onto the set of Gills Arena and do the interview. Dang. Huh? You need to get out there and go Audie back and go kinda, to the is kind of aggressive with you mm. with that. Yeah. Don't matter. We don't need what? him. Two-time well, finals I mean, MVP. I heard he was ready to go. That leading the team, I mean... It don't matter. Just go back well, to the I mean, what, what I'm saying, when you talk about leading the team, like, he's the most unguardable piece on the team. Right? So, if you put the right pieces around him, which they have right now, you probably need two more... To, you, you just need a bench, like as a starting five, they have a starting five. You just need some better bench players, and then from there, I mean, they'll be fine. I mean, you, you have you have the right team, the right players that he can win with. Um, we talked about this. We talked about it. They overloading with Bradley Beal not getting the bench, and it was going to fuck him up in the long run. It was gonna fuck him nah, up because they ain't gonna have If I'm Katie, I'm going back to go to state. I don't, no. I don't care what nobody say. I'm if, I'm, if, if I'm Katie, say. I'm going I, I wanna see this year out. Nobody. Wanna, when Bradley Bill when You got rid of the bench. Nah. You got rid of the bench for Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill all of a sudden got a back issue. You just came off a wrist issue. My back. Now what's next? <laughs> He's back. He's back. We, I just need to Bro, like my for wrist me, if I'm Katie, I wanna see, I wanna see how it <laughs> I wanna see like him before, they was rolling, then they got injured at the beginning. I mean at the end. Right now, they got in there, uh, injured at the ending. I rather, I think he'd rather have them healthy at the end. Yo, what was Terrence Ross saying? Terrence Ross said, Terrence Ross said something to my comment. He said something like they was better before KD got there. Yeah. How? Yeah. Because they went to the finals. Because they was playing better as a team. I, I mean, stop it. As a team, as a team. Because they yeah. didn't have no stars really. I mean, they had Booker. Uh, they had Booker. I mean, Terrence they had Ross. Booker. Park it. Uh, Suns won tonight against the Magic. Not that you care, but uh, D Book dropped 21. Bradley Beal had 25. KD had 31. Nah, that yeah. 
So if we mm-hmm. see this squad, and they get to put some games under their belt. Everybody can stay reasonably healthy. No, Do they have a shot? They, no, listen, not reasonably. They still on the West. They got to stay, stay healthy. Still on the West. The East got to stay healthy. The East is there's only one and a half teams coming out of the East. It's two. The Bucks. One and a half. Bucks or Boston. What? Boston or Bucks okay. or Sixers? No. So who's the half? Boston. So who's the half? The Bucks is the half. The Bucks is the half. So Bucks if, is the half. So if the Sixers avoid Boston, you said they can't beat Boston, right? If the Sixers avoid Boston, if Boston two, loses and the Sixers happen to make it to the Eastern Conference game. Finals yep. and they don't have to play the Can Boston Celtics, it. then yes. Okay. But who, who's going to be? But who's going to be Boston? What if they play the Milwaukee? Bucks can, the, Bucks, Hell, they, the Bucks got a chance to beat Boston. You know how Boston. this shit goes? These playoff matches. The Bucks got a great chance. Thank you. A great chance. You know how this shit goes? They probably the only team you know how that how this got a chance goes? to it's beat Boston. It's going seven. It's going seven. And that's a classic matchup. Boston-Milwaukee is going seven. No. Classic matchup. No. It's going seven. You know how this league is. Hey, man. Hey, job hey, better hey, make the playoffs. You don't think they're going to go seven? Hey, big-headed nigga, they got on that team now. Derek White. Derek No. Derek White, because he cut his hair. Derek White looked like an anteater. Now, you remember all about this head is a reasonable size, dude. What I'm saying is, you know about all about the Benjamins, the dude that had the. the You'll never find. Blah 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 blah. blah. We be be cut. Leave that man alone. What I'm saying is, think about think about what they added. Five head. Derek White doesn't look like he got no four head. He got like five. Six four five. Talk about when you talk about Boston. What they did add, right? They added a two weight player. They added a dude who averaged 21, 21 and what 12 last year, right? Porzingis. Both, he plays both sides of the floor. They added him, right? Added Drew Holiday. What they didn't think about was Derek White putting his production and scoring up. Why not? I, I like got to consider it. You, the Bucs got to make a move. Gotta the Bucs got to make a move. You got, more, you got more scoring with a defensive-minded team, which changed that whole team. You got a good big Boston, deal. I mean, the Bucs don't have nothing for that. Stop, bro. Stop Gil. it. Stop it, no. Gil. We, Stop it. We both agree with we that. Gotta go to, we both agree with that. Stop it. Try. No, they don't. Nah. We do got to change. Pat Connaughton. No, we're going to make a move. We got to make a move. We, 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 okay, you got to make a move. Okay. Yeah, the fuck them Malik, right Malik now? Be- y'all half. Malik, right? Malik Then what I said. Right now, they half. Malik Beasley? No, we not the half. Half. We not the half. We not the half. We can if never y'all got to make a move, that means y'all half. We can never We can never be the half. We can. Uh, uh, Get him, Rob. Uh, hey, fuck uh, y'all. You know he's uh, never on my side. Uh, fuck y'all. Uh, fuck y'all. Nigga, fuck you. You fucked you. You cool. Nah, it's all right. No, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going right. to make a move. Malik Beasley can go. Do you really believe that, Brandon? That's Middleton. Right. I want to. to. Go, nigga. Middleton. I got more love in Milwaukee and L.A. I want to believe it. We can get Marcus Smart. I wouldn't Milwaukee. Be can you? Gil don't like that move. I don't care. Gil don't have to like it. I don't give a Gil fuck. He guard. Oh, he can guard Drew, and you know what time it is. Okay. You have to put the ball. Redemption no, too. Put we the we ball come back. We we'll okay. come back. man. Put the ball in the. You need people to put the ball in the. Ba- you don't see the fucking. Line. All right, Jordan Clarkson. Okay. That that, that could that could help. <laughs> that could help. See, so he went to a nigga to get buckets. Don't play no goddamn defense. And he fly. And he come in there and fly. <laughs> that nigga don't play. I like a goddamn defense. Give a fuck about no defense. All right, nobody cares. Like, the I just game, need this nigga to give me buckets. The game is... Give me buckets, nigga. The game of basketball is about putting the ball in the hoop. <laughs> man, 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 listen, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> just give, give me buckets, fucking, nigga. Look, look. They all been talking about this defense. Shit, this defense and shit don't mean nothing if you can't hey, hey, You can't back. guard me. Yeah. Can you guard me? Gonna drink your Sprite, nigga. In your prime. In- Okay. Stop Perception it. Perception is I was say something. Can I guard who? Like, okay. <laughs> Can I ask y'all something? All, 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 who? Wait, all the old heads in the back. Huh? When they oh, start saying shit. defense wins championship, what year did that it's start? Shit. What yeah. year was this? When that when they said defense the bad boys, the bad boys, probably the bad boys, yeah. probably like the bad when, boys, the bad yeah. boys, right? The 88, bad boys, the bad boys. Okay, 88, 88, which one? Oh yeah, I got it. Start right, 88, 88, 89. My motherfucker. Who do they play? In, who do they play in the championship? It should sound. Play the Boston Celtics. Look great, don't they? I mean, no, not the Boston Celtics. Who they play? Bark and Jack. Oh. It's like, part of being live. Hey, that's the shoe that. Hey, hey, that's the shoe that Ike was using. No, never mind. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Um, not, not, moving on. Not, 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 moving not, on. Not, Damn. Never mind. Never mind. Now, now what I'm saying is when when, when oh, people shit, say defense win championships and all that, <laughs> did those defensive teams stop offensive juggernauts? No. I mean, they might not have stopped them, but they, <laughs> like, they, they won like, the game. Like, like when people game. when like when people say uh-huh. like the bull when people talk about the bull. Oh yeah, they nice. Who? No, when, they, when people talk about oh, the, yeah, no, the Bulls with Michael years Jordan and all that. No, they ain't beat up now. No one factors in Michael Jordan himself. With them on? Like a bit. Right? Oh, yeah. 
Like, have you noticed that when people talk about the Bulls and their defense, no one talks about the, the Michael Jordan. No one talks about the freak of nature. No one talks about the only person in his position that is who he is, the 46, 48-inch vertical with the one-on-one -on -one skills, with the fast stretch. No one talks about this alien type of player, right? When you take him off the team and you look at the rest of the Bulls, they couldn't score enough to win games. It's Just fair. like... Jazz couldn't score enough to win games. Just like the Lakers themselves without Curry. They, there was no offense built enough to mass Michael Jordan himself. 33 points took away three players alone on any squad. That's like, what I'm saying, like, Matt, like Michael Jordan, 33, Scotty Pippen, 17. Right? Then nine, nine, and seven. That was the fucking starting lineup. That like, like European basketball. <laughs> that's low key, like European <laughs> basketball. What is it? You got yeah, 30. That's when, that's when the score 17. was 80, 88 to 90. That's what, what I'm scoring saying. Scoring 90 so, points a game. So when you think about Michael Jordan scoring 30 something points a game, when you go against opponents, he's taken away two players. The most offensive team he played against was probably the, the, what, Seattle. Seattle Supersonics was the most advanced scoring team that he played against. Well, in, in Jordan huh? career? Yes. Blazers? Golden no. State? No. Run TMC? He didn't play against them in the playoffs. We're not in the playoffs. I'm talking in the playoffs. Play playoff. So Seattle was the, the most playoff. advanced yeah. Yeah. score. Now, who was the one-on-one -on -one player on that team? Yeah. Deadlift. Gary sure. Payton? <laughs> yeah, Gary Payton was a one-on-one -on -one. I mean, Maybe he's backing down, I'm just saying. Listen, if he wasn't a one-on-one -on -one player that, that's going to keep ISOs. And, Deadlift shrimp. Yeah, there's some, you know what I mean? So <laughs> they, 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 he was before his, he was so that's before crazy. his time that he just. Nate McMillan. He just, that's what I'm saying. You didn't have, you, you didn't have him. He didn't go, he didn't go, he didn't go with the box. The one -on -one they with the box baby. Though. That's what I'm saying. He was a one on one player in a time where it was yes. team basketball. And that's who it was. So good, you asked European, question. European basketball. Hersey Hawkins. You asked, you asked a question earlier, dude. Hersey, what the fuck you gonna do? <laughs> so no one was ISO and Michael Jordan? Yeah. Why are you sitting there ISOing? Hey, everybody get away, I'm going to ISO. And then everybody who's trying to score him got to come off 34 <laughs> screens and shit. Come off some pin downs because yeah, they couldn't of, dribble two times. He got a lot of breaks. He ain't really... You, you're no. right. Now that you look back so at that's you, his like, fault. he that's was his really fault. not that's his having fault. to guard a that's lot his of... Fault. That's his fault? That's his fault? No, it's not his... No, no, no. It's he not had his, no problem with Gary Payton, though. What I'm saying? According uh, to MJ. You mad because my dad makes sure that he had no problem with Mike when he got cooked. He got cooked he when it came no down problem, to like it. He didn't have no problem. Gary Payton was easy? Yeah, I had no problem. Y'all didn't watch the last dance? Easy! What the no fuck was Gary, Gary Payton? Payton? What move he was going to do? What move? Show me a move Gary Payton was going to do Come on, against man. Michael Jordan. As he has to no, be as he has he, as he, as he, as he, that was going to be effective. As he has he step back. What, what? No, that was not his. That was not in this package. Yeah, he going to back down. He hit Mike then, with two of them. I know what he did back against back. me. He going to pack back me down. <laughs> he going to back me down, sit here and do these. That was all they did. <laughs> back down. When, think about the hand check. When we see the hand check on these players, what, what are they doing? What are the offense doing? Back, yeah. Backing down. It wasn't front and facing. You didn't hand check on the front face. Mm -hmm. You hand check on the back down. Right? Below the free throw that below the free throw line is still a hand check. Lunch meat. That's what I said. The media is so fucking stupid that they don't realize the hand check is still in play. Below the free throw line. Below the free throw line, you can still hand check and do this shit. Right? Above, nobody's doing fucking what uh, Magic Johnson did. I'm sitting there trying to back you down from the motherfucking half court line. <laughs> we got moves now. <laughs> we can see. Magic this. started that bitch. Like, what moves did Magic court. Johnson do to get if somebody picked him up full court? He was forced to turn his back. It's yeah. because he wasn't supposed to be playing the point guard. Because he didn't know how to. He, he didn't wasn't he no didn't fucking handle. point guard. Anytime, you know what it is when you. Yo, you back. ain't making Kyrie. Hey, if you guard a nigga full court, he's turning your back. What did you just say? If you guard a nigga full court, he's turning your back. Magic can have what handles? No, listen. So Magic can get the fuck out of here. No, no, fuck that. Point guard. Listen. Watch out. What if J.T. How you gonna be in the top five point guard? He ain't got handles. I'm just saying he got no handles. What if J.T. had wiggle? Turning back. No, no. Hey, what if Jason Kidd had wiggle? Jason Kidd didn't have no dribbling moves. No. He did. Yes, he no. did. No. Right, that's his no. full speed right by you. No. Full speed no. right no. by you off the glass. Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. What if Jay Kidd had that Kyrie shit? 
J. Ken will full speed, right no, no. by you, full speed, crossover. No, 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 what I'm saying is, now, now, no, think about it. What oh, that's saying. Bob. Yeah. What add I'm saying it, is, add the Kyrie to it. No, what I'm saying is, J. Kidd didn't can't have, have all that. Can't saying, have all that. Oh, he he gonna no, put right in front of you. Jason Kidd didn't have, have, at you. Jason Jason Kidd didn't have moves, right? No, he did not. Right? <laughs> so he didn't have the moves that the guys have now. Yeah. What he had was he was faster than everybody. Now put Jason Kidd in the '80s with his speed. There was nobody that fast. Motherfucker, six four. He bigger than everybody. At the like I, I went. Listen, someone put me. Someone told me, "Yo, I need you to look at all the scores in the point guard position and the shooting guard position, and then and then make a, and then try to defend Michael Jordan on who he guarded and all these and guards, and you realize, n- no. If you can shoot, then you wasn't a score. Like. Like, Reggie Miller was the only shooter and scorer, and Dale Ellis was the only shooter and scorer. Someone who can actually shoot from the outside and score. Other than that, they couldn't shoot the ball to save their lives. So what y'all say? Mike played in the easy air? That's what it sound like. No, no, no. So Mike Bill Russell? Sound like Mike don't deserve the credit. Hey, hey, hey. But, so Mike Bill but, Russell. But, 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 hey, 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 hey. That, that put Kobe no, no, no. number one. No, 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 no. I'm just no, asking. No, no, I'm no. just saying. For argument's sake, Man, that man averaged 37. When, for, no, 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 for argument. Fuck up. No, for argument. Y'all can say all that shit, y'all. We'll average 50. That motherfucker no. averaged we'll 37. Average 50. No, no, we'll no. average 50. For Fuck argument's me. sake, for argument's sake. As a rookie. The dudes, the rookie. dudes that we're saying that are one, two, and three. Walking in. Right? Yes. When they're one, two, and three in the, in, in their, in, just in the league, they were the, they were the apex of what basketball was. So, like, you know, when LeBron came in, right, you're, you're at 6'10", playing the three, playing point. The league wasn't ready for that yet, right? Now you have those guys, right? Now you have somebody like Wimby, right? You're 7'6", playing fucking, you can play the one, two, three, four, five. The league ain't really ready for when he turns into what he needs to turn into. Right? You, you're going to have to breed players for something like that. So it always comes, like when Magic came, those guys wasn't ready for the 6'9 point guard. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was looking at Melo, t- uh, I was listening to uh, Melo talk the other day about like the prototypical NBA player now. Mm hmm. And it's the Paul prototypical? George. And it's Paul George. Like, like the prototype that everybody wants to be, the 6'10. You said what? Lit, that Paul George. Have, yeah. Bro. Like the 6'10 guy that can handle it, shoot it. Bro. You got, like, you, oh, but you, you know what's so funny? But when you say his height, 6'10", yeah. right? People think he's 6'7". No, yeah. He's right? Like, nine, people think uh, LeBron is 6'8". Oh. <laughs> like, Bro. this motherfucker ain't 6'8". He ain't never been 6'8". Bro, Paul George should be on everybody's, like, uh, when the draft comes, they should have a Paul George picture of a silhouette of him. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, this is who we want to draft. Because this is where the, that's where the league going. And so then, when Brandon Miller said that same thing, what you said, Paul George, I believe that. Like, yeah, that's man. where the league is going. Like, you got to be like Paul George height. Six to, to be a one. But now, like, but, I mean, to no, be a no, one no, to a, a no. three or whatever. He was, now you, he was a victim of ones too. But now you, now, but now you look at, now you look at why, <laughs> why. But now, but well, you look at why Luca is so what? effective. Yeah. Like think now think about now the think position about he's playing, like yeah. think about why Luca is so great. Be careful. Luca's not playing against Paul George and those guys in position. He's playing against the point guard. Yeah. At 6'10. 6'9. Like his everyday matchup is Steph, Ja, Kyrie, Fox, Hallenbert. Like uh, yeah, Burton, Burton for real. like uh, um, Brunson. That's his matchup. But those are not his real match because he's not no. going to guard them. So so that 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 no, that's the people he do. Three? That's that's do the people that guard guards him. under six three. Right. Huh? It's tough. It's do you think it's tough. quiet for guards that's under six three to be able to be a point guard? No, you got to be special. Okay, under no. six three, six three no. and under. Like you, if you, you, you got you got to be special. So you should, would, so right. should you be a star like Ja? If you are, so ja. Ja. you basically got to be Ja, right? Be ja. To come into the, to come into the league and be and, and be a point guard be, like, as his height, yeah. you got to be Ja. You got to be Ja. No, bro, you gotta no, be, no, 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 six two. Yeah, I mean six two, six three. Yeah, you got to be that. Yeah, that's why I just said. Like you got to be a six. Like you got to be like that. Fred Van Vliet. You're not moving. Nah, then you are back. If he was getting drafted now, he wouldn't get drafted. No, he's a starter. He didn't get drafted. Yeah, he fucking didn't get drafted. He didn't get drafted. Let me correct my statement. He fucking didn't get drafted. Brunson, second round. Brunson, second. Okay. So nobody's box. 
He about no, 6'3", though. No, that, but that's but what I'm saying. You got to be. But, but look how long ago that was. Like he just said. And Murray, he's Murray. He about 6'5". Six, six, yeah, yeah. He's like 6'5". He's all big guard. fucking bro. elite score. Damn. Hey, like like he just said, you got to be Ja Morant. He's an elite like, score. Murray is an elite score. Like even with Hallenberg, like what I'm saying is there going to be a time, let's say, what, about five, six years from now? Most of those Point guards gonna be Shea. Or six Shea gonna be Shea. Yeah. Six, yeah. six, 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 okay. seven. Like what's the funny is you gotta be that to play the, the one. Penny Hardaway, <laughs> the Penny Hardaway Grand Magic Hill. Johnson Grand Hill. is coming now. Yeah. At so point, now you position. now you see how far advanced that these motherfuckers was and yeah, wonder Sean, why the they Livingston. ate through the league so he's Sean Livingston nigga. Yeah. The only thing that hurt yeah. Sean Livingston that he couldn't shoot the ball. Yeah, that's but crazy. he was going to develop. There's no more of that. But I, but I'm saying like, even even with the big point guard, the only thing that's wrong with the big point guard now is they can't shoot. Right, the Ben Simmons, right, the Ben Simmons Magic. Uh, Penny Hardaway, okay, Sean Livingston. Luca. That was, but now but that's what I'm saying. The Luca now is coming. Yeah, he definitely got that, that big point that can Hard shoot now is coming. Now, what happens when you got Luca with the so is Penny Luka, Hardaway? I mean, is, is, Luka the, still, the, is Luka still better than? I mean, Kyrie still better no, than Luca? That's my personal. I'm just asking so, you. So you, so you like the motherfuckers that be on my page, right? <laughs> <laughs> you just like them son bitches. I just want to know if right? you're going to change your... You, no, like, you see what's going my, on. Luca you is see a what's bad, going on. Listen, no. I take nothing from the man. He a bad motherfucker, man. He top five players in, in the NBA right now. Luka Doncic is the top five NBA player as we sit here. And he do it without Kyrie right now? Eight years. I'm a Kyrie fan. So you were being biased at the time. I'm still biased. <laughs> that don't change who Stand I like. I got you. I got you. That man got is you. doing what the fuck he's supposed to. He putting up numbers ain't nobody put up since James Harden did. Mm -hmm. I'm get flowers. Absolutely yes. I like fucking Kyrie. I'm just. You're just Kyrie fan. I'm a, I'm a Kyrie fan. I like. Yeah, my, I, I like. I, you can tell me about Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway is like, better than Jordan to me. I got it. That's like Giannis. Like, give me Giannis all day. Man, I, am. I was Penny Hardaway fan. No, uh, just certain guys I'm, in this Hardaway NBA. Fan, and then Paul George. I'm with him. Fuck no, for yeah, for sure. He's a bad mother. Listen, Luke, so. a bad motherfucker. Now, don't get me so. wrong. Let's, so. let's keep not, this listen, thing moving. One thing I'm not going to be is stupid and naive <laughs> and sit up here and be like, no, nah, that motherfucker. He, he, he ain't, ain't no like good. that. He, he ain't, ain't like, that. like that. He ain't like that. Yeah, he ain't like that. that like, no, nah, that motherfucker. See, everybody, everybody look like that. Like, PG 6 8. Y'all stop. Get the fuck off Google. Get the fuck off Google. Right? Right? Say the two inches. Get the fuck stood, off Google. I stood next to the motherfucker and I'm 6'9. Yeah. He's taller than you. He's taller than you. He's taller than you. Yeah. We, we comparable. Like, like these no, motherfuckers don't. Like, like, he ain't like, like, but no, we are, we, we and I'm 6'9. And he looking at like, me. Like, yeah, like, 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 so just, just so y'all understand, when we come into the NBA draft, right? We get tested without our shoes. Yep. So the numbers you see is without our shoes. So add an inch and a half, unless you got motherfucking LeBrons on, then you just add two inches. But any Nike regular shoe is an inch and a half. There's so if it, says, if it says 6'2", that means he's playing at 6'3 and a half. So if he's 6'8 without his shoes, then he's 6'9 and a half. Then you got to factor in that most people stop growing at the age of 21. So if they come into the league at 18, they still might grow a little bit, just like somebody like Tatum, just like somebody like Kevin Durant, just like motherfucker uh, LeBron James. Yeah. Because what's so funny is like, or Giannis, like when LeBron, when we played LeBron the first time, he was probably six, eight, six, eight and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Because he was guarding me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We played, we played him in the playoffs, and he did a post up on. Antoine, who's 6'9", and he's towering him. And I'm like, hey, yo, coach, I think he's, I don't think, I think he's bigger than, did he grow? We had to put Jared Jeffries, who's 6'11". We had to put Jared Jeffries on him. Then so, because the NBA does it, they don't, they don't re-change the shit. So if you look at people, they're, what, 190? I was still 190 pounds. And I'm playing at all of 224, 218. Right. Unless you go to your team and You got to go to your team and change it. Change that shit. Like, they had KJ Lizard at some shit. I said, listen, dog, y'all got to go change that, bro. Like, he's six, five, nothing, man, six, seven. <laughs> like, legit six, seven. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Six, I, like, look at Zion. Look, 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 if you look at Zion, I'm service, man. Like, somebody, go to, somebody go to Google right now. So, what is Zion wearing? What is he wearing? No, no, serious. Yeah, they. Yeah, come it's on. It's just like with Charles Barkley's height. 
all them years. It says 284 on his So, board. okay, so if you notice, his height is still the same. I mean, his weight is still the same weight mm-hmm. when he walked into the NBA. And obviously, we know that ain't the truth. <laughs> Let, let's keep this thing moving good. We got 18 minutes until this new year. We got a lot. Oh, okay, okay, okay go, 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 then, motherfucker. So, uh, Your 20. <laughs> Let me do my host thing, Gil. <laughs> We got it's some the delicious treats. We got the delicious treats. So we got 2023 was also filled with some of the wildest and craziest moments on and off the court. Too many to do in just one show. Here are some of the favorites. Uh, we'll start at number 10, Emo Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Butler, continued streak of media day shenanigans, pulling up with the fake locks last season. Emo Jimmy? He came, he came with the emo look this year and let the basketball world know the inspiration behind the look, telling reporters, this is my emotional state. I'm one with my emotions, so this is what you get. Okay. Let's keep it moving to number nine. Pat Bev gave us one of the most legendary moments in NBA history after LeBron didn't get an obvious foul call in a huge game against the Celtics in the Garden. Pat Bev grabbed the camera to show Rep. Eric Lewis proof of the missed call. Pat was given a tech. Lakers went on to lose the game in overtime. After a Twitter detective exposed Lewis for being a diehard Celtics fan and his questionable burner account, Lewis was forced into early retirement but did put NBA officiating in a huge spotlight, raising concerns over the integrity of the game. Yeah, Shout out Gil's Arena alum, Pat Bev. You should just call him a fuck boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, all, that was the only thing that was missing from it. Mm-hmm. Look here, fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> that's what he was thinking. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we do, not, we do not make it to 2024. Just know that it's been a pleasure giving you guys this show. Listen, dog. The league is looking. At, are Adam's over not rolling with us like that. That's what hey, they said. We're we doing our own thing, man. We're doing our own shit. No we underdog man. fantasy in this bitch, man. We're doing our own <laughs> thing. I'm talking about. So number eight, uh, Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark. So Angel Reese and LSU made some history as well. They defeated Caitlin Clark and Iowa to win the first NCAA championship in school history. Mm-hmm. With the Bayou Barbie taking home most outstanding player in the tournament. Win wasn't without some controversy as recent her teammates were criticized for showing too much passion for the game they love by taunting their opponents. You might remember the Tony Yayo. Mm-hmm. They got mistaken as the John Cena and all that goodness. Uh, situation was only magnified when First Lady Jill Biden tried to invite both LSU and Iowa to the White House <laughs> in an unprecedented move. All teams matter. And after initially oh. saying she wouldn't go and rather celebrate with the Obamas, Reese and LSU pulled up to the White House solo to get the love they deserve for winning the chip. Uh, number seven, I'm just going to read through very quickly because, you know, it's still an ongoing case. We don't have all the information. Uh, friend of the program, Dwight Howard, was also subject of some controversy after getting <laughs> sued in civil court <laughs> for some situations. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm I'm mm, I got... I got Kitty? According to the lawsuit... A man says he met Howard on Instagram and agreed to meet at Howard's home for an encounter uh, while what traveling kind of there. <laughs> you know. Stop. <laughs> come, on. Come, on. come on. Come on. What kind of, what, come come on. On. What kind of encounter? Kid, come on. No, man. Hey, man. Uh, a close encounter of the third kind. That's just not cool. It's just not hey. cool. Hey, and a, hey, a threesome is a threesome. Yo, <laughs> in the words of Rudy Ray Moore, it's a.k.a. Not, that's not, Dolomite, that's not a, no, that's not who knows where the nose goes when the doors close. <laughs> Nope. Oh, so, uh, nope. Nope. Number six. Come on, number six. Come on, man. Nope. Nope. No, uh, see, I, I wasn't here when y'all talked about it. See, nah, y'all didn't we didn't talk about it. 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 Why not? It was a crazy moment. Why not? We did talk about it. Why not? Huh? Why not? We did talk about it. Why we didn't talk about it? Because he was just on the show? No, because it came on after. Yes. It came so out after. want to talk about the after, friend yeah. of the program? We still got uh, friend of the program, Chief. <laughs> still got a ton of love and respect for Dwight Howard. The case is ongoing. Man, listen. You know, man. everybody do what you do, love who you love. All right. That sound good. Come on, Gills Arena, present my underdog fantasy. Whoop whoop. I Number mean, six ain't no better. I was his teammate. So like, you you got to show me a bit more proof. Oh, I got to have a picture, a video, or something. Listen, oh, I don't need none of that shit. I'll, I'll, I'll take everybody's say, word for it. Cat Williams say, you were just going to take it, huh? <laughs> nah, I got to. I got to. You got to. Hey, just do hey, your favor. As a friend, as a teammate, I need more proof. I don't believe shit on the internet. Just Stop the bullshit, I don't shit. I, I don't need. I don't. Shit on the internet. All that I, other shit. Just leave the work alone. Work. Leave the, the work. work. That sound good. Leave the, leave the work alone. You do your thing, but leave the work. <laughs> hey, alone. I'm a work firm believer. We're gonna leave it at this. I'm a firm believer in whatever smoke. There's a motherfucking fire. And no, no. God damn it. No, nope. I, 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 I gotta be him. Trust me. If the motherfucker after you, they after you. 
What that mean? They were, there they are. There was smoke. There. there was no fire. Huh? So speak, speaking of motherfuckers being after you, bring yeah. us to number six. And Rashad, like you say, you got to let the work be the work. But sometimes the work violates the rules and regulations of the game. Yep. Zion Williamson found this out <laughs> the hard way when he found himself on the wrong side of a scoring ex-lover this summer. So after Zion and his boo announced they were expecting a baby girl, adult mm. film star Mariah Mills lashed out on the two-time All-Star, proceeded to blow up his spot. Mills threw a, a Twitter tantrum, several tweets calling out Zion and their relationship. I'm perplexed. Uh, Mills allegedly signed an NDA, but claimed she signed it with a fake name. <laughs> uh, that ain't my name! So Mills has been up, back up to her mischief lately, uh, criticizing Zion's play on the court and saying she would have had his mind writing game tight if she was still in the picture. Yeah, I don't play her. Brings us to number five, probably my favorite moment of the year. Back in January, Shannon Sharp in his blue cardigan became the stuff of legend after Unk got into it with several uh, Grizzlies players. Unk made it for And John Moran's daddy. What uh, two. At a Lakers game. <laughs> Oh, uh, right, huh? Good yeah. So the moment has been immortalized with this legendary photo, which became one of the most memeable moments of the year. Shout out Unk and the blue cardigan. One day I'll make enough money to, to purchase one of my own. It's a nice you know, I suggested that, you know, you're doing nightcap now with, with Unk. Uh, we can get that blue cardigan framed, autograph. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, okay. Get it on the wall amongst all your legendary jerseys. <laughs> Number four, uh, you know, again, I told you this was going to be wild and crazy shit. Um, Scotty Pippen, MJ won six rings together. Uh, but Pippen was in his feelings naturally after his portrayal on The Last Dance. Uh, beef was only heightened after Jordan's son, Marcus, started dating Pippen's ex-wife, Larsa. Dating? A uh, couple got Her engaged Larsa, this year. Larsa, Pippen, Jordan. That's what they call it, dating. Fire. That's what they Hit call it off. Now, now they six, are engaged. Six. We're dating now. I got six, six, nigga. <laughs> 12 of them, I got 12 of them things. 12. Sorry, all right. Really 14, but... 14. You really, if you, who's counting? Who's counting? Who's counting? Who's counting? Right. Count? Let right. me stop. My Lord Jesus in heaven. All because, uh, all because Scotty Pippen didn't sign future autograph. Damn. To, to add further insult, uh, Marcus has re requested that his father be the best man in the wedding. Uh, the Pippin Jordan wedding. Mm, 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 mm. Prayers go out to Scotty. Why? Pull up to the show. What? I mean, that'd be great if she just had Scotty Pippin walk her down the aisle. Now that'd be funny. Fun. Stop. Why? Why? Scotty ain't got nothing to do with that shit, hey. man. I'm going to just tell y'all something. It just lets you know what type of lady she is that none of the kids follow her. <laughs> So we know whose side they picking. They pick that. <laughs> they yeah. pick that. Oh. Yeah, this some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, you go through their Instagram, not one of them follow their mama. I can tell you. That is a bullshit. The <laughs> mama got to go, go in the wedding with the airs on. I'll never play, yeah. I'll never play for the So she got to say Jory because the pip is the left her alone. <laughs> she got to go, go with the she airs gotta on. She got to say Jory. She, gotta she got to go with the airs Like this. There's no place The pip like is the left to the There's situation. No I got like shit to say. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey, hey Kim, I know, I know one I'm too close to the situation. Hey, hey, say. hey, King, I know one game she can't be at. <laughs> That's the Sierra Canyon game. Hey. <laughs> she got snow tickets. <laughs> There's no place like home. Hey, I plead the fifth. All right, next. All right, all right. All right. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I, I plead the fifth. We, we, we know you, Joe. <laughs> we know you, next, Joe. Next time, oh, goddamn. Number four. I just had to Number play. three. Just, number three. That was number four. It's number three. What's number three? I don't, I don't know. I just, but I'm just trying to really recalibrate. I'm sorry. I'm just <coughs> saying a prayer in heaven. My name is Bennett. <laughs> Not involved. I'm just, I'm just saying, I follow, I follow who the kids follow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ten minutes, no, just, ten minutes all to all New I'm Year's. Is, I'm pretty sure there ain't going to be no happy Mother's Day this year. <laughs> and moving on. Uh, number three is, is not a basketball moment. Uh, it was... A football moment. Uh, so Skip Bayless. Rashad. All right, all right. Skip Bayless, no stranger to controversy. He started in yeah, 2023. Stop. Oh, shit. Oh, so Skip Bayless made it? Skip Bayless. He was on that same list as you, Gil. I believe you were higher than him. Uh, you know, we number seven on that complex list. Okay. Shout out to us as a collective. We were collectively number seven. Uh, so Skip Bayless, no stranger to controversy. started in 2023 getting packed up for his out-of-pocket tweet after Bill's <laughs> defensive back, DeMar Hamlin, suffered a cardiac arrest on the field. 
Here's a tweet. Uh, while Hamlin was fighting for his life during the Bills <laughs> Bengals Monday Night Football game, Bayless posted the following tweet. No doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of the game, but how this late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Um, tweet, which is still up, has nearly 200 million impressions. It's easily one of the worst in the history of the app. Bayless did end up apologizing for the tweet on Undisputed, but the damage was done. Shout out to Skeletor Bayless. I'm not even gonna lie. If I got 200, if I got 170 million, <laughs> I'm not erasing my shit either. Why would you? Keep it going? <laughs> no. Why would you? I can't. That's 170. That's 170 million. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the numbers. Are what they <laughs> At this point, the numbers is better than these feelings. <laughs> we got our crowd signing NDAs. Please use your real name, okay? Please <laughs> use your way. real name. All right. You are not playing us. Number two, uh, if there's one thing that Draymond is going to do is be okay. Draymond. So after punching his Got former it. teammate Jordan Poole in Got training it. camp last year, Draymond went all out this year with sev several questionable moments, which led to suspensions, stomping some bonus in the playoffs, we remember, uh, choking out Rudy Gobert. You know, that, that was one that... That got I'm, you too? All the shit that that man did? What? Number two. But, and he also uh, slapped the shit out of Nurk, got an indefinite suspension off of that. Judo chop. Uh, <laughs> Draymond got all the way turned up in 2023 and looks hell-bent on breaking Rashid while it's his career ejections record. Rashid was on the show. He supports it. Rashid also took the blame for Draymond being the way he is, saying that he used to come hang out in the locker room with Joe Dumar's son mm -hmm. during that 2004 Pistons reign and picked up some bad habits. Thoughts and prayers with Draymond. Hope to see you back on the court in 2024. Number one. Ooh, Rashad and Miko. Rashad and Miko! <laughs> that is not number one, Gary. That is not number one. What? Gilbert Dolan. The wildest moment of 2023 didn't happen on the basketball court, but on the waterfront. Uh, the, Montgom the Montgomery River Boat Brawl. Yeah. Especially ah. known as Fade in the Water. That is good. White people getting beat up. That's good. <laughs> yeah, you about to get us back to the conservative uh, I, re I retake my dad back. I retake my dad back. We support all races almost. and gender. Almost. In oh, is about to try to pack us up. That was the first time black people felt like, I like America. It's okay, I like America. Gil, they said you hate white Europeans like Rudy Gobert is Caucasian. He is not, okay? Those chokes were indiscriminate of race, <laughs> gender, creed. Anybody could get it. Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, Damn. Frenchicans. Anybody He can. didn't make it. Yo, didn't make that? The, the can man. The can oh, man. Uh, Agent grown a baby. Y'all didn't make So the incident occurred when a co-captain of a riverboat in Montgomery was jumped by some unruly Caucasians who refused to move their pontoon boat parked on the dock. He was down in the first half, but his crew had his back, pulled off the comeback, and black Twitter did his thing, honoring the most mentorous occasion with, with tons of photos. <laughs> Stay ready. You see it. Uh, no, where the dude that, no, fuck that. Where the dude that swam across the motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> He's the real MVP out there, motherfucker. Nah, you funny as a motherfucker, man. I was not. You're yeah, I merely, I merely am a vehicle. I'm a vehicle for this beautiful country. So we got six minutes to midnight. Uh, what's the craziest moment on the list? Danny, oh, that's Danny. Aquaman, oh, I believe, is the dude who swam, swam across. The craziest moment wasn't on the list. What's the craziest moment? Na oh, Nautical shit. King Cole. Oh, shit. That was crazy. I, I feel like one. I feel like something from the Gills Arena should be in the top five. Like what? We had a lot of moments. Kids to get the top five. This shit, motherfucker. Gill smoking mirror. Gill neck brace. Kids to get the top five. Steph Curry saying he's the greatest PG on this very show. Zion getting, Williams I'm to pulling up summer all league. My life, man. I'm beginning to smell. You, do you feel like you? I feel shot. he got jaded, man. Motherfuckers gonna be he playing basketball. He got jaded, man. And Pelican Bay would not get to it. Security. I mean, we shoot program. So, we done, so we what's, done what's, what's the whole motherfucker off the show? Security. What's the moment that that should have made? Charlie, what you got? Please, please keep it reasonable and respectful. What's the what now? What's the moment that should have made the list? <gasps> when Dylan Brooks thought. Kyrie deserved his jersey <laughs> and the jersey swapped. <laughs> that was classic. You remember? <laughs> he tried to give his jersey to Kyrie. He's like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> Kyrie didn't want it. Yeah, I want that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? I thought you wanted mine. Get your ass out of here. I'm the, I'm the future Hall of Fame, nigga. Uh, now, that was crazy. That's 
You know, pretty currently bad. my dog got a blanket. He's good. That's pretty bad. Oh, Jesus. We're, pretty we're good. <laughs> like, what, you guys? Ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That's a lot of, that's a lot of moments. OJ Swimson. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just no. The dude who swam to the boat. Um, so, Rashad, do you feel neglected? No, 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 no. Listen, man. But we can revisit it. You know what we've been doing since February? We've been fucking shit up. Mm -hmm. We've been fucking shit up. Mm. Huh? Step to the table and debate with your boy. Let's do it. You wanna go? You wanna go viral? Let's go. Me? Let's go. Whoever. Who else? What's up? (laughs) <laughs> That's what we've been doing for 2023 since uh, February. Motherfucker, come look, over here, you wanna talk some shit? You know we got a motherfucking juggernauts up here that's gonna come at you, so you come in here, you gonna know your shit. We just what we do. Hey, yo, so I'm know, like, yo, what's up? You can't guard me, so stop. My favorite moment, hey, 2023, Eric hey. McCants launching the brand. Eric McCants right here? Eric McCants. More Eric McCants. Hey! Hey! Eric McCants. Don't be afraid to be fake. Don't be afraid to have them fake on them. Nigga, take everything, motherfuckers. <laughs> you feel me? My favorite brand. Uh-huh. A brand of the people. I'm looking for a Sheen sponsor. <laughs> show. All of that. We are two minutes away I'm the cheap nigga. from 2024. How uh, would we do it? Hey, can we ask our Which New Year's It's a reveal. We're going to we get to that in a second. Is this the reveal? Well, I got the big hat. Sorry. What's this? Sorry, sorry. We got two minutes left, ladies and gentlemen, on the this? East Coast. We know you are not doing shit. What do you want? Get your minds right and your game's tight. I mean, I don't... You like, you know, you like, yeah, he, he, but the top hat. Mm-hmm. Wait, does it come out of here? Oh, okay. God bless you. Out here sipping. I think, baby. All right, we'll, we'll read through these honorable mentions uh, just to kill a little bit of time. So we got Donovan Mitchell and Dane both dropping 71 points in the game. Derek White uh, keeps the Celtics alive with a tip in the Leave fourth game alone. seven after they were down three. Derek Wright could Thank you. <laughs> USA basketball does not finish. enjoy myself. Top three in the FIBA World Cup. Mm-hmm. Josh Giddy, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Rashad versus Pat Bev. You know. Ooh, ooh. That was a versus? It was an honorable moment. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah well, that was a versus. Yeah, that was a versus. But I was setting the fuck. That was a versus. I thought you I had two versus. Like, you sit straight. You That's had I just tried to sit straight straight. I didn't thought it was a versus. Uh, we all stayed and said help a good buyer or something. We also had Joe Smith's wife uh, and her OnlyFans Ooh, exploits. I forgot oh. that. And going on Cam and Cam and Mace's show that. and giving yeah, up giving a, a massage. Giving a massage to Cam and Mace. Hey, wait, hold on. Cam and Mace ain't nothing for having the two-time murderer. I mean, allegedly murderer. OJ, they not up there. We nigga we're, made OJ uh, Simpson allegedly. Said, allegedly. allegedly. No, no, I said allegedly. Shout out Johnny OJ Cochran, Simpson. rest in peace. OJ Simpson to them. Johnny Cocker. Shout out Johnny Cocker. For Rest sure. in peace, Johnny. 30. Uh oh. You going all over 27. Oh, hold up. Wait, wait. Who doing? the fuck gonna clean this shit up? You. Oh, no. Nah, I'm not cleaning them all. It's 2024. Oh, get your mind right. Yeah, I got a lighter. Help me, folks. No, we're right here. Here we go. Wait, where's the time? No, <laughs> fuck right up. Hey, yo. All right, all right. Hold up. Yo. Producer fucked up, yeah, yeah, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. That motherfucker on 18. Hey, they on literally see. says 44 Jordan seconds. We all. Hey, they fucking up in the back. We on black people time. We on black people time. Yeah, it is. Clock is off. Yes. But we gonna pretend yes. like it's live. Yes. Some of y'all in 2024 it's already. Fun, damn it. We getting turned up on Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. What, 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 what? We almost there. We almost there. We almost there. Hey, yo. We almost there. We almost there. Let's do it. Hey. Ten, nine, eight. We made it to 2024. We did not get canceled yet. I don't know, but I got a piss. <laughs> we made it to 2024. We did not get canceled. God bless Underdog Fantasy. We still, we still got more show. We do? Okay. It's right. 2024. Oh, I thought we were done. All right, let's go. Get inebriated. We're still doing the show. All May right. all the new. 
I thought we were done. I thought we was done. I thought we was done. Keep going. I was ready. Go to the rest of it. Oh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just getting warmed up. I the food ready. I'm just getting oh, we just up. getting warmed up. So, good, as you know, we got our check for December 31st, 2023. We got to hit a 10-minute minimum on January 1st, 2024 to get another check. And that's what we are concerned with. Facts. We are here. We're going to wait for Kenya to come back. The last honorable mention though, on the list is that crazy plain lady saying, that motherfucker back there is not real. <laughs> <laughs> she was talking about me. She was talking... Rashad, you were on the plane? Yeah. Hey, you was on the plane? <laughs> that, that motherfucker, motherfucker is not real. Is not real. And now that's some funny. That motherfucker's some work. That's some funny shit. <laughs> Just get me. Shout out 2024. We got more Gills Arena to give you all year long. We got the workshop. Rashad Podcast Let's dropping brand. I know you got some stuff you working on. Me and Miles O'Neill. You see my boy, Miles yeah. O'Neill. We come out Miles Miles Hey, Miles, come on over here, Miles. Hey, hey, Miles, come here, man. Me and Miles got a podcast coming. I ain't telling you what it is, but that shit gonna be fly. Shout out to Miles hey. O'Neill. Yeah. Don't sit in Kenya's seat, though. Yeah. Unless you want, you want some baby? smoke. You know, we about, to, we about to do our thing. We got some snacks upstairs. Workshop. The workshop, baby. We got workshop. Ha, 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 ha. Y'all know what the fuck is going on with that. Talk it. Talk it. Uh -uh. Hey, man, you going to have some quality? You know I'm going to have the quality. We doing cash. <laughs> no, I know you did. I know you did. Know you did. The workshop launch in 2024. I know you did. I know you did. It's the workshop. Do something strange right. for a little piece of change. Uh, I, go I, go I, got, down. I got everything. I got it. Mom said they're going to do something strange for a little piece of change. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> do the donations. <laughs> Donate a 20. She going to see what do it. What you want to do? And then, and then, you want to do Come on back here. I ain't never had that ever happen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are turned up in the arena. It is 2024 on the East Coast. Hold that no more. It is 2024 on the East Coast. So look, damn, this shit. We're gonna keep this thing moving. Y'all know we love to get flowers on this show. So Complex dropped their their top sports media personalities, named Gil and us as an extension, number seven. Wait, wait, what? Damn. Complex sports media personalities. Oh, they named us all number seven. Okay, kill The Gil's Arena crew. Mm hmm. Me but, old, so. but now we're giving y'all our top ten podcast for sports and the culture, according yeah, to Gills Arena. Homie. Okay, sports and the culture. So number ten, we got the pivot. Shout out Ryan Clark, Fred Taylor, Channing Crowder. We ain't won. Okay. Number nine, we got all the smoke. Shout out Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. Okay. Shout out Stack. Okay. Made an appearance on the show this past summer. Matt uh, still has not pulled up. We are looking for you, Matt. Come show up. Elder Barnes, as we used to call him <laughs> at UCLA. Oh, they just got a new, he just got a new show with him and uh, Wiz. Wiz yeah. Khalid, we saw the announcement. Okay. But they need to come pull up, promote it on their I show. Like niggas just making moves. Number eight, uh, probably my favorite show on the list, Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what number? Number Trash. eight. <laughs> what number? <laughs> Wait, who the fuck came up with this list? Right. We did? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Some motherfucker about to get fired at me. <laughs> <laughs> ain't with us. She got us at eight, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just reading. I'm All just right. a conduit. I am just a conduit. Okay. Number seven, Old Man in Three, uh, with J.J. Reddick and Tommy Alter. Number six, Podcast P with Paul George, Jackie Long, and Dallas Rutherford. Okay. Number five, Drink Champs. Damn, Drink Champs. Okay. Shout out, shout out oh, Drink Champs. Okay. What's Number four, Million Dollars Worth of Game, Gillian Wallow. Shout out. Okay, okay. Number okay. three. Wait. Cam and Mace. Uh -huh. It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, they got some holes on there. <laughs> you got the back rub. The, shape, the Joe they Smith wife back rub put them over shape, the top. I know they had. They shape. don't even go to our boot camp. They ain't I know they had a shape, but they ain't like funny as a motherfucker, so that's okay. Number two, Joe Budden podcast. Shout out Joe Budden for everything he's done mm, yeah. and is doing for the podcast game. Number one, Nightcap with Unk, Ocho Cinco, and Gil. Wait, that's before me? Fuck that. You I'm pretty sure you had to put me you, on there. With you, I'm pretty sure it was before me. No, with, with, included, my nigga. With the Gill okay, edition, yeah, with the Gil uh, edition, we had to drop them a number they 11. Had like, they had like 500,000. That was without me. <laughs> and <laughs> just, number zero on the list, Gills Arena once again, the only show to make it twice on the list. <laughs> that, I, I mean, that's a, I mean, yeah, they got that's some eight out of that list. list. Number eight there. Wait, eight? All them? Hell of a show. I mean, I'm, 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 to be honest, oh, top ten, oh, incredible. No. Two, got to That is actually, I mean, for for our producers, that's actually yes. incredible. Like, yeah. eight? I mean, I don't oh, even. Wow. Yeah, they even cracked the top ten. And we, we made the, the list. Ten. So look at us. Start New Year's. Yes. Being fair and equitable in 2024. <laughs> it feels the same as 2023 for some reason. For what? I mean, we did a lot. I mean, to be honest, we did a lot since last February. Since yeah. last February, man, we we've done a fucking lot. 
Bro, we, hey, if we didn't trip up after, Ve hey, after uh -huh. Vegas, we, hey. Let me just. Yeah, no, 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 they did Vegas. fuck up after Vegas. Hey, after I ain't gonna Vegas, lie, y'all. They fucked up. up after Vegas. I yelled at the motherfuckers for real because I thought when after Vegas, no, 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 no. After the season ended, after the season ended, we took that break. And I'm like, yo, that's when content is really content, right? You know, you got all the NBA players here, and we wasn't really shooting. Yeah. We took that long ass break, and I thought that's where. Well, the funds were, the funds like, were insufficient at that back. point. <laughs> the funds were insufficient, but we talked to the good people, Underdog Fantasy, Jeremy Levine, and the rest of the crew. Mm -hmm. And the checks have been written. The Zell has been sent. I need a raise. The Venmo has been Venmo. No, nah, I need a raise, but I don't really need a raise like in the real world because I got Rip it up, Gil. I got Rip a big mama who's paying attention, so I don't need a raise. We are still I poor. Raise. We are still poor. All that money went to production. I need a raise. We need a raise, but I don't need a raise. raise the bar. We need All that money went to production. None of it went to the crew. The well, that's what I've been saying. Let's raise the bar. Baby mama, they after us. Well, Oh, you got, oh, yeah, you've well, been in court. Speaking of women, I've been in court. My, hey, man, listen, you got damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't I start give my, hey, I want to give my wife, man. Today, my New Year's just had my wife's birthday. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, damn, y'all. And, and the food upstairs. And the food upstairs. I saw that shit. Oh, Did they yeah. take a video? Hey, no, 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 no. Go make what my plate. What are we going to do? Yeah. Can, now, you go, look, can you go show the food? Yeah, make my plate. Go show the food. Make, make my plate now. I hope niggas I, look hungry oh, yeah, in here. I hope my yeah. kids didn't touch none of that shit. Hey. Niggas look hungry in here. Don't eat all the Go chicken. Go make my plate. Baby! Kids but it's my wife's birthday, birthday, man. Your so. wife's birthday. Like... Casey, go make my plate. Yeah, we made a cook on first. her birthday. It's her oh, birthday. No, first. The first. Yeah, yeah. It's her birthday. Just turned just turned the birthday. Happy birthday! Yes, yes, yes. Miss yeah. Martin. It's Kenya's wife's birthday. Like, she made a delicious meal for all of us. Oh, yeah, we two days apart, actually. Go make my plate now. Now, if y'all if y'all think hey, don't put I, no swine on my plate. No, that if y'all think I gained weight, just eat. remember Thanksgiving. Yeah. I went to her house. Yeah, I went to the, the house. Can you go she show that? Oh, you got a plate. Hold she up, let's it. see the plate. <laughs> the fuck you getting the plate for? <laughs> Wait, he got a plate? A black nigga go get to see that. <laughs> Hey, that's the roll with the black uh, show. That ain't. But I want to know how you get a plate before me and my yeah. wife made it. Come on, go. For, uh, <laughs> I bought the yellow big bro. Hey. <laughs> Y'all got to go show that Let food me know how like, it is. just so I'm we just can see. Oh, nigga, I know how everything tastes. <laughs> now, I do too. I took a whole I ain't gonna, I took a whole tray yeah, last I, time, bro. Nigga had a yeah, whole I, the I went tray. to his house at 218. Nice, man. Two days nice, after, man. I went on the schedule. I was 235. Been really? struggling since. <laughs> You'll get it 2024, well, you're gonna, you're gonna get, get it back. Yeah, I already told you, I was like, man, <laughs> it was worth it. Don't get worse tonight. So our last segment of the show, Capricorn season. I want y'all to give me your wildest NBA prediction for 2024. In the basement? No. In hey, Gills Arena. Damn, it's lighter. Right away. The, wild, the wildest prediction. Is he really Let trying? Me get your 2024 you NBA real? prediction. Uh, you trying for real? Oh, it's gone. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll try again. When, when, when you mean wildest, you mean like it's not going to happen? I mean that it could happen, but it might be outlandish to think that it would happen right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you smoking on New Year's? No, I took, I, no, no, no. I went to sleep for two days. I'm not, I got Debo's I, I, chicken coop. You hit it twice. I got shit to do. Twice, though. I got kids. Look, my kids right there. I got shit to do. Debo's chicken coop. <laughs> um, How that food look? Did you feel me? I mean, the Wi-Fi, huh? Damn, Gina. Gina, Gina. Um, so the food's, the food's, food's oh, oh, I got a wild prediction for 2024. Give me a prediction. The wildest Gil. prediction on Gil's shootout, he actually wins. You got, no. Gil's that is a wild prediction. Like, him winning is, uh, is wild. <laughs> Hell no. That thing, if he wins right there. If McCann's win, if, if the Eric McCann's win, hell wild no, prediction. hell no. I'm dropping the video tomorrow. Gills Arena know, shootout, you know, January 20, 2024, nah, the district I, you know, and Chatsworth. I, I can outshoot the, the, the whole yeah, Laker team. Absolutely. And then uh, Phil Hanley, Phil Hanley said something. Handy. What did he say? He said, he he said come it. on to the arena and show. And I'm like, you, do you know who your shooters are for real? So I just, I went into the backyard, no warm up, and shot with my son going here. I don't know how many shots I shot, but I'm, I'm easy work. All right, well, let's, let's go around the couch. It's 2024, new year, new me. Yeah. Rashad, we'll start with you. Give me your New Year's resolutions for this year. Mm. 
That was bold. Which part? I'm the saying you thing. ain't go win. The whole thing. It was bold. I like, I, like, I like that. That's what I like about your character. Like, you're bold. You're brave. No, you're not afraid. I can go. I can go. I right. just like it. Because you, you, cook, you was cooking. Can I cook? No, I'm just saying. Can I cook, though? What I'm saying is, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Drunk, I can go out there and flame that motherfucker, boy. But, I mean, you good. Go, cook. What the fuck? We got. Happy birthday. Hey! Happy birthday What's to you, 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 my homie. Happy you birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey! Happy birthday. Oh, we ain't got the roses on it, boy. Oh, we cool. love you. <laughs> we love, we love you. Oh, this is awesome. Hell yeah! We <laughs> oh wow! Watch it, oh, hey, watch it, no, thug, quiet again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Eat the cake. Not today. Oh, that's... Eat the cake, anime. Eat Thank the cake, you guys, anime. <laughs> Thank you guys, man. That, that's awesome. Happy yeah. birthday. Pre hey, man. Happy, happy birthday, OJ. So 46, baby. Yeah. Ooh, shit, 46. 46, my nigga. Ooh, shit, look good, daddy. Absolutely. Everybody hey, hey, say back there, look good, daddy. Look Ooh. good. <laughs> Got them giant. Hey, yo. You know what you was about to say? Nah, New Year's He asked the man what New Year's resolution New was. Come on, New Year's resolution. <laughs> nah, um, let's do this deal. Let's get this shit done. Like, that's the New Year's resolution for me. Let's get this, whatever it is you feel like we need to get done to, to make sure we concreted in this shit so we can take over. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, I'm on. I'm on that. They've been stealing our swag. No, when we first launched back in Black History Month of 2023, they were not rolling with us, did not want to give us any love, shunned us, disrespected us. Now we're number seven on Complex. How sports? I want your person now. That's my shit. Let's keep. Let's keep, ahead of let's some of your favorites. Cooking. Let's keep fucking cooking. The energy was a little different in Vegas. It was some love. Darvin Ham rolling around like Debo. And think on that the was beach the beginning. Group. Think about that. Shout out Darvin Ham. Mm -hmm. Let's cook. Zion said, "You know what? Let me come on my favorite basketball show, Gills Arena. I'm not doing any media at Summer League. Let me stop. Pull up to our show. Gave us 15 good minutes. His PR person trying to yank him away. Zion said, "Nay." Mm -hmm. I want to speak to Gil and the Gil's Arena crew. Yeah, yeah don't doubt me. Be about yeah, me, because I ain't crazy. losing. I ain't no, losing no, that, that's nigga. bullshit. They be trying to protect these motherfuckers, man. Yeah. They give you 15 minutes to talk oh, But they, He was like, Zion, let's go. Zion said, no, sir. Yeah, I want to no, stay on no, and talk but, to you. But, but trying to protect them. No, what can we actually get done in 15 minutes? Say it again. What can you actually get done in 15 minutes? I'm saying? Zion said, no. I'm coming on my favorite show, Gil's Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Thank Rest in media, using the clip. Capricorn season. Some asked permission, mm -hmm. some did not. Some did not. But nonetheless. No, hey, um, we're coming 2024. We got more shows. We are pulling up to your favorite activation. We got the Gills Arena shootout presented by Underdog Fantasy January 20th. What? This shit what? Be extra thirsty, man. Huh? Extra thirsty. Hey, yo, you know what my New Year's resolution is? Yeah, let's get to that question. Yo, my, my New Year's resolution is uh, just having gratitude. Uh, being grateful for what we have, uh, you know, Gil, I think, you know, what, what you created and what you, um, you know, started for us has been a blessing. Uh, it's definitely opened up a lot of opportunities for myself this year. Um, you know, a lot of the good has outweighed the bad for me this year. And I've seen, you know, um, I've seen who I, who I can become and the more I can um, just by sitting on this couch. So uh, I think this year is just about having gratitude and just sticking with the people that love you you know, the most, like, um, mm. you know, don't worry about fitting in, don't worry about what's going on on social media, you know what I'm saying? Just get yourself right, get closer to God and, you know, get yourself right and everything I feel like will happen. So have gratitude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you, New Year's resolutions of 2024? No, just always evolving, man. Always becoming a better man. Um, made tremendous strides. Um, Continue to do that. Uh, but just, uh, I'm not the one to. God damn. She fired. Um, <laughs> no, but just some, like, people make resolutions <laughs> and all that shit. No, but I'm, some that I told my, I've been, you know, we athletes, so we mentally prepare for shit first. Mm -hmm. So I done told myself I'm going to start working out. Like, I haven't been in the gym, like, lift no weights and none of that. I've been riding the Peloton, mm -hmm. but I, I'm going to start lifting and. Oh. Use a Peloton. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I ride that motherfucking bike. Like, That's real. And I, and I saw a picture of myself the other day. Somebody, like, on my birthday, somebody sent me a picture. Like, I was, I was like, 
Hey, yeah, young fella. Like, <laughs> I like the way that look. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm start working out this year. Like, in the gym, I'm gonna get back to it. Like, for sure. And yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, health, health. We in there. Yeah. Health, for sure. I'll be 35 Yeah, health is, yeah, I'm. Health. You know, we ain't stopped. Yeah, and I started it over the last few years, man, vitamins going to the... So this is the thing. Let me, I don't mean to just... Go, go ahead. As, as a former athlete, we are so accustomed to... While we're playing, we have mandatory physicals every year. We have doctors at our disposal. We have dentists at our disposal, blood work, mm -hmm. heart... All these things at our disposal day in, day out. And when we stop... The day we stop playing... It goes to the wayside. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's why a lot of former Ooh. athletes pass away before expected. Mm -hmm. Because we don't go to the doctor as former athletes because we, we think we're superhuman. Mm -hmm. So with saying all that, I just encourage us as former athletes to do more yeah, as far yeah. as our health. Yeah, yeah. Getting your blood work that's done real. and doing other shit that's, that's for you, man. And, that's real. Yeah, and that's what I've been on the last few years, man. And, like a couple years ago, like last year, like I'm, I'm big on sugar. Like my sugar intake been outrageous since I was a fucking kid. And my shit came back borderline fucking diabetic, right? I had to look mm -hmm. in the fucking mirror. Doing other shit, but neglecting other things in, in the process. So this is a testament like we need to do better as former athletes and taking care of ourselves so we're around for our fucking families. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's that's that. But yeah, for real, man. I'm so, so we got to do better. That's real. I've been doing mine, and I'm gonna do more. So I just encourage us to do it, man. That's real. And, and stop carrying dead weight in 2024. Uh oh. Stop mm -hmm. carrying dead weight with you. And Let it be known. And stop and, and stop worrying about what other motherfuckers is doing. You stop being fucking nosy. Stop carrying so, dead weight. So fucking lazy ass. So Gil, 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 Gil lazy Gil. ass. Stop, Gil, yeah. Before we stop get to your resolution, yes. I got a New Year's resolution. Get out my damn business. All right, let, hey, goddamn. <laughs> Hold on, this man got to say. I got, I got a New Year's resolution. So anybody who's watched this show from day one, y'all know Yo, I like to, y'all. Y'all know I like to wear shorts a lot, but uh, you know, after some heavy thought and debate, I'm gonna start wearing more pants in 2024. <laughs> Too many of y'all was staring at my calf muscles, my fast twitch, my ankle to calf separation. They can't do what they do. Distract me from talk. the show that you know and love. So I'm going to start wearing pants more so y'all can stop staring at my calf muscles, worrying about if I'm wearing socks or not. And yes, these are Gucci. But let me give it to you, Gil. Gil, what's your uh, New Year's resolution for 2024? 2024? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, to be honest, you know, when... Um, when I retired and tried to go into like ESPN and all that stuff, right? And they said they were scared, mm -hmm. you know, well, we were scared of you. We don't know how far you're gonna go. So, you know, you, know, you create your own platform. Mm. Um, mentally, to be honest, I'm, I'm, not even, I'm just be cocky with it. I'm so far advanced than what those old dinosaurs are. I'm in 2025, right? Like, Everything that we have going on, 24 is planned, mm -hmm. right? So now I'm trying to figure out how we're going to get on Netflix as a show, right? Yo, I'm not, like, people talk about podcast. We're not a fucking podcast. Thank you. Right? We just, we, we, we look like a podcast. We're on YouTube. We're not a YouTube show, right? right. We're, we're something that you've never fucking seen before. Like, the way we structured here, we can go from here to the court to wherever we want. No one's built to do what we can do, right? You're, you're two years behind. It's going to cost you hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to build what we have built right now. And I've already thought about how to capitalize and move forward. So I'm in 2025 trying to figure out how TV's moving, how Netflix is moving, how... HBO Max is going and Max and HBO and how Wall Street Wall Street is putting money behind and how they're evaluating, you know, um, companies. So my resolution is catch up because you're so far behind. Like I, I catch my, up. My DMs has 
like ESPN and TNT, and they're looking at me like, yeah, we, you know, can't wait for you to get on here. Like, yeah, you guys are so old. <laughs> you motherfuckers are so old. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I'm so far. We all seen I'm Jurassic so far Park. Past that is not even fucking close. We all seen Jurassic Park. Y'all niggas not leaving the island. You know, so I'm in 2025. I made my resolutions last year, bro. Yeah, oh, fuck, fuck off. Me. So, to, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. To quote yeah. the great Mr. B, uh, to all you other programming shows out there, count your fucking days. <laughs> we're coming for you. Count your days. Man. Count your days. We're going to keep it humble, but we're going to keep doing our shit, though. We're going to keep it hostile. <laughs> 2024 is all hostile. Let's go. Shout out to Gills Arena. We appreciate y'all pulling up to our New Year's Eve show, celebrating the end of 2023, beginning of 2024 with us. But before we go, we want to take a moment to salute all the people that made Gills Arena the number one show for real ones, far and wide. Shout out to my nigga Marcus Collins. Marcus who? Marcus hey, Collins. Up, my nigga Marcus Collins. Shout out Paulo. Shout out the whole crew. Shout out everybody. My nigga A Verb. Shout out Tim for writing the checks. Oh, who the fuck are you naming? <laughs> We never even heard of these. These are my cousins, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, man. No, what I'm saying is, though, no, yeah. he was... He fucking up my sound. No, 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 Sean. No, Sean. Uh, they was talking I'm about... shouting out my sponsors and shit. <laughs> Sean, like, he was talking about... these niggas? He was talking about people on the show that did the show. And this thing. I'm like, what the fuck Roll the credits. <laughs> <laughs>